I'm here with Ed Hedrick, who is PDGA number 001. Ed, you invented the disc pull hole. How has the sport pro progressed in the last 25 years? It just took off like wildfire. And now we see the top of the pinnacle, where these people are so much better than us old guys that they're not even in the same game anymore. Now that it's getting for more money, more clout, more points, more everything, you know, it, it matters more. When you throw that good one and it does exactly what you want, that's like the, the feeling that I like crave. He likes it. And he no way! Gips it. Oh my gosh, I have goosebumps. The fans are there holding their breath like, oh. I'm living that same moment. I'm sitting there like, am I gonna, am I gonna execute? Those moments are what get your heart going. Last year, every weekend felt like the biggest tournament. Like you felt like you were playing on the biggest stage. It's pretty insane to see how much we've grown as a sport. To come out to some tournaments, and just see literally thousands of people out there it makes it almost more fun, you know, to just to be excited to see how the discs are flying. being amazed when something works just right. I expect the sport to continue to explode this year. And I expect there to be great energy at every event. Unbelievable stuff from Paul McBeth. We're just going off the ramp. I think we're just about to catch air vertically. Whoa, baby. I've put in all of my life and all of my effort to be a professional disc golfer, and I'm excited about what the future brings. It's very apparent now that we are on the brink. Each event can really become a huge impact on your career. We're putting the puzzle pieces together now, and it's going to keep snowballing. You know, this is, this is something big, and I'm, it's only getting bigger. Wow, the season is, is upon us, and those big moments are, are just ahead. Welcome to Vegas for the Las Vegas Challenge presented by Innova Champion Discs, the kickoff to the 2022 Disc Golf Pro Tour season. I am so excited to be here in Vegas and look who we've got. We've got um, Kristen Tatar back again on this side of the ocean, but this time she's joined by some fellow Europeans, uh, Hannah Blomros and Evelina Salomon. <laughs> the highest rated FPO card ever, Elaine. Incredible. That's a fantastic. What a treat for the, we are in for great, the viewers today. A great watch. I am Ian Anderson. Sitting next to me is five-time world champion Elaine King. That's a lot. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to be here. Um, I can hardly wait to see what's going to happen. I, I mean, this is going to be a nail biter. We've got the Europeans over. We've got the top rated women. We've got 60 women. 60 women. Wow, That's really? A fantastic field and such talent everywhere. Man, we got a new season. People's got some new discs, new sponsors. Oh, yeah, it's Katrina Allen going back to DGA. Yeah. And so I'm going to be interested to see how she throws those discs. I, I saw her warming up. That's some nice turn, turnovers already. She's got some, some beaten discs already. She's got them shaping lines. Fantastic. Typical cat style. There is Henna and Evelina warming up. And warming up is the operative word here, Elaine. 
Yes. Uh, last I looked at the temperature, 38 degrees Ooh. in Vegas. And I'm sure those of you sitting with snow on the ground are thinking, oh, it wouldn't be nice to take a Vegas vacation. But in fact, um, it's very cold out there. And the first women teed off at 7 a.m. Um, where it was probably a little bit below freezing. And so, as you can see, a little bit of wind. And so the wind at five to 10 miles per hour with those barely above freezing temperatures, Ooh. it's gonna be tough conditions. Jennifer Allen with a nice putt there. She's got that putt work and she's dangerous with her distance out here. Oh, oh she does well in Vegas. She's got a very strong throw. Um, she knows the course extremely well, very comfortable yeah. there. And we see Katrina Allen, you know, Katrina hates the cold, absolutely <laughs> hates the cold. Um, Did she, she grow up in Minnesota, though? <laughs> Maybe uh, that's why she hates it. Well, she moved to Phoenix, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> she did. Um, and so she's got a parka on, you know, trying to, you know, keep her body warm enough. I expect she'll be um, shedding a few of those layers, at least when she throws. But for now, smart idea to, to keep the muscles warm and limber. Absolutely. And we know DGN is down. Thank you guys for joining us on YouTube right now. We're working on getting that back, but you get you get free coverage on YouTube. Nice consolation prize. Fantastic. This, this so the same ho coverage. Hopefully you found us here on <laughs> yeah. YouTube and are, as we are anxiously awaiting the start of this event. And we can see the women warming up there. We can see <laughs> some coffee <laughs> with uh, some of the uh, spectators and people who are doing the, the uh, UDISC live. And it looks like a serious bag check there to make sure everything's in order and have got everything. As the women are just waiting their time until that horn goes. Yeah, they got Missy Gannon, Jessica Weiss, along with Kona Panis stepping up right now. Speaking of uh, another new sponsor player, Dynamic Disc this year. Absolutely. And, you know, that does seem like a good fit. Yeah, I like it. She like seems like a DD crowd kind she of does. gal. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it looks like that they have got the green light to tee off, so we'll see what Kona can do on hole number one. Tell us about this hole one, Elaine. Well, hole one is not a, a long hole, 233 feet, uh, but it does have some. Uh, hazard uh, right close to the basket and that's a uh, phrase we'll be saying over and over and over and over <laughs> and over today hazard close to the basket absolutely uh, Katrina Allen steps up next and you know I always hated starting on holes where you feel like you should really just put it right under the basket because especially in these cold conditions mm -hmm. it's really tough and you can see Kat played quite a conservative shot there um, she's well over to the right, and um, that'll be a tough putt coming back. Yeah, I almost wouldn't even mind a layup for par from there just to start your day without having any trouble. Jessica Weiss with the forehand play. Yeah, trying to sneak up on that basket from the, <laughs> the safe side, so yeah. that's good play. But I don't think any of these women have landed as close as they would like to on this very short hole number one. And Missy Gannon, what a year she had last year. Looking to keep it going in 2022. <laughs> Somebody calling for that to go in. <laughs> yeah, well, I think all these women are left with, you know, a putt longer than they would like to, a little bit of a breeze, and got to remember that hazard that many of them will be looking towards. Yeah, let's talk about the King's Keys for the, for the <laughs> tournament. <laughs> okay, let me tell you, Ian, if you're going to have... Right back disc, excuse me. If you're going to have one skill on this course, it is having precision up shots. As I said before, so many of the holes have got hazard beside them, uh, be it, you know, the hazard take a stroke and play where you lie, or an OB sand trap or green. And as well, there are slopes on many of these baskets. They're placed on little knolls. Yes, they are. And you get a little bit of wind, and you go from being right under the basket to slipping through to one of those hazard OB areas. So 
I honestly think the difference between being on a top card and not is going to be how these women place their approach shots. Yeah, absolutely agree. So thank you, Black Ink Discs, yeah. for sponsoring um, my my thought, really. I was going to say <laughs> thoughts, but I really have one thought about this course. <laughs> and that is, you know, your upshot. There's the warm-up area, and here is Katrina Allen with an outside the circle bid for birdie on hole one. There is Hazard, I want to call it, just 10 feet beyond the basket. Oh my goodness! What an amazing putt to start out with. That was not an easy putt. It was she huge. Was outside the circle, I want to say that looked like about 40 feet. That was confident, connected. Wow. I, I saw that last year. Katrina really started gaining confidence she with did. these high lofting straddle putts, and that one certainly was money. Incredible. Talk about a, a putt to start your year. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Take that one. Kona Panis steps up. Birdie look of her own. And I'm glad to see her with the, the straightforward putting style. Agreed. Although it did not connect for her this time. Oh, oh sit. hey, hey, come oh, back. Oh, no. No, and that slope is unforgiving. Oh, that... That's going to be a, a tough bogey, but... Yes, it will. And, you know, now Missy has got a few thoughts. <laughs> she <laughs> she sure does. Success, she's seen <laughs> failure, and she needs to decide what she is capable of of in this particular moment. I, I hope she knows what incredible putter she is. I, I, would, I bet she gives us a run. One of the best. No, no she, she wanted to go for that. But her, her body, body <laughs> said no. <laughs> Isn't it funny how that'll happen sometimes? Thankfully, it looks like she stayed inbounds. Yeah, it didn't look like it went too far behind. And Jessica Weiss. The closest of the group. That's a very makeable putt. You can see the crosswind. And Jessica she played Weiss. it perfectly. Well connected. Nice pace on that, wasn't it? It was. It, it hit a little bit high. It looks like the wind really kept it up. Yeah. But she played the wind nicely that was going in the direction of the hyzer fade of her putt. So really well judged, really well played. Kona Panis steps up to a bogey putt from the hazard. Looks like it almost got the circle's edge here, Elaine. Yeah, she's a long way away. She's downhill. Uh, she has the advantage of not putting towards the hazard. Uh, she's got the crosswind. Did that flag just change direction? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right, actually. And she lays it up. Yeah. Uh, really about all she could do there. She'll be losing three strokes to Cat on the first hole there. It's very tough when someone who is farther than you just bangs in a putt. <laughs> and you really feel the pressure to do the same. I think it's the hardest thing in the world to lay up after someone just has a spectacular putt like that. Missy Gannon now comes back for par. Connects nicely. Solid, and as you said, she was lucky that hung on. She was definitely yeah. down that slope. This is Kona Panis starting here here with a five, unfortunately, but I'm sure she will fight back in a hurry. You could take another look at that Katrina Allen putt. It's very high. Just had the perfect arc it on did. it. And you know, if she had missed, I don't think it would have gone too far by either. Yeah, I know. It was well paced. Oh, we're going to take a quick break on the Disc Golf Network. When we come back, the highest rated card ever tees off in Vegas. Oh, yeah, Nate. That looks nice. Oh! Oh, that looks nice! <laughs> it's not nice, really, though, is it? Sorry. 
Nice. And all day today. PDG Event Support Helpline. Hey, so I'm setting up the most epic event of all time, and I'm wondering, do I need insurance? As long as the event's in the U.S. or Canada, insurance is included with your sanctioning agreement. Okay, awesome, because we're trying this cool new thing where we have an alligator pit on the 18th green. It's going to be epic. Insurance or not, I don't think having literal death putts is a good idea. <sighs> okay, I'll consider it. Oh, down, boy, no! Are you still there? Oh, God, are you still there? Welcome back to Vegas. You are looking at hole two, I believe. You can really see the desert terrain very dramatically. <laughs> There's nothing alive there except the few big plants. And, you know, considering how cold the start was this morning, one thing you really have to watch out on this course is slipping. Oh, sure. If there's some frost on the ground, uh, the grass on the fairways is very, very short, and it's just about the slickest surface I think I've ever played on is, is Vegas in the, <laughs> in the slippery. Uh huh. That was a beautiful forehand bid from the drone shot there. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> that was a forehand putt. Almost cashed it right there. There is Kristen Tatar, Paige Pierce. Someone called this group Paige Pierce in the Euros. Sounds like a good band. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does. Yeah. That's a great band yeah. name. And you can see Paige and Kristen chatting they really enjoy each other's company they're friends they're competitors um they got spent some time last year and we saw some great battles yeah, between Kristen and Paige where uh Kristen more than often came out on top it's true didn't she? it's true she had a fantastic run coming over to North America and the only European woman right. able to um get the appropriate uh accreditations to get across the border you are looking at Jennifer Allen on hole two we're hoping this is for Birdie. She's getting down low, maybe to cut the wind. Oh. Well, yeah, it looks like despite getting down on her knees, the, the disc was lifted up. And short putts like that are so frustrating when you can't judge the wind properly and adjust to it. She'll let somebody else putt out here. Is that Natalie? Ella Hans Ella, Hans Ella Hansen, excuse me. Oh, nice putt, Ella. That was, and, and you saw as the wind lifted Jennifer's, it was going to drop Ella's, and you could see it just kind of bounced on the rim there and just snuck over the border. Another one you got to worry about if she's putting well. The way Ella throws, she could definitely take this down. She, she, well, she's got plenty of distance. Yes, yeah, she does. That was Sarah Hokum making good, Jennifer Allen turbo putt and that's a great idea you know it's a very secure putt and the the advantage is it's just a straight throw mm -hmm. <laughs> i think kona might be cold <laughs> someone get kona some earmuffs <laughs> come on colton oh gosh you know uh, in that temperature i always wear uh, like a beanie, a beanie? Hat yeah rather than a cap we need bushnell to make a beanie for kona Maybe they would. <laughs> and here are two or, of our Europeans. You got Evelina and Henna. They're really good friends, right? Yeah, they live actually quite close to each other in Finland. Oh, cool. Um, let's see. So Henna lives right on the coast, and Evelina lives a little bit farther inland, but, you know, as, as space goes, you know, there may be... I'm going to say about 100 miles or so okay. less distance from each other. And they've played to each other, against each other, in pretty much every event that they play. And here are international. I'm going to leave that last one. To, you, you practiced that last one. Hit us with it. Lukke Lorentzen. So she's from Norway. Nice. We get to watch three of those women today. Well, three of them are on the first card, and Lukke is on the third card, so we oh. may see some of her play as well. Get some look-ins there. And it's so nice to have um, the Europeans back over here. I'll just keep saying it. It's, yeah. been, it's been two years since Evelina and Henna have 
competed on this side of the Atlantic. And I can only imagine that they're super excited yet probably a little oh, bit nervous. nervous. Yeah. Um, you know, they've been watching over the last two years, as have we, how so many women have upped their game in such a deep field. We have our top card here for our Open Pro Women field. We've just been told that this is the highest rated field ever played and put together for an elite or major event. So congratulations, ladies. Sir Neil. Good morning. First on the tee pad, we'll have Paige Pierce from Plano, Texas. Followed by Hannah Blumers, Evelina Soinen, and Kristen Tatar. Paige Pierce takes the tee. Five-time world champion, like the lady I'm sitting next to. <laughs> well, despite her credits, I kind of wonder how she's feeling. Sure. Um, she might be feeling a little bit nervous. She hasn't played against Hannah or Evelina in two years. You know, none of the um, women from North America have gone over to Europe. The European Open last year was only uh, European women. And so, you know, she's going to be excited, but I wouldn't be surprised if she was a little bit nervous, too, just to see what these women have been practicing on the last yeah, two years. Yeah, sure, what they've figured out. Henna on the box. Henna's going with an AVR X3. What a great shot. That's how you do it. Boy, she trusted her disc. She was throwing an AVR into a headwind. Yeah. Um, it, it is at elevation, so it's a short 233 feet, but um, well done. Evelina. Yeah, she's taking a safer route, you know, just mm -hmm. not, not feeling that confidence, even though she saw how beautifully her teammate threw it. And Kristen Tatar. Almost put it in. She almost did. That's a really nice shot. Um, she's not that far away, and it's a very safe shot. We are going to swing over to Katrina Allen on the second. So you're shooting straight, a little bit of hyzer at the end, trying to get over this berm, which Katrina's done nicely. She'll have a comeback putt for birdie. That looks like it's about the same distance as putt number one, yeah. maybe a little bit closer. It even. might be. Jessica Weiss will step up next. So there is OB on the right. And if you're throwing right hand, backhand, it's improbable that that will be an issue. So it's just a matter of trying to place that disc close to the basket to give yourself the shortest possible putt. Okay, you got to get over that berm and then stop in a hurry, which is a, a tough task. And it's 324 feet, so it plays long. So you can see, you know, of course, Katrina has a big arm and yes, she made she it does. look easy. And Jessica throws pretty well, but she was unable to get um, over that berm. So trying to play it a little bit wider is probably the smarter play because it will feel shorter. There is a smart layup on one from Evelina. Yeah, if I were from that position, that's exactly what I'd be doing, as does Paige. Oh, she could have done that better. <laughs> <laughs> it's close enough, it'll do the job. Kristen taking off a big old glove. Maybe a little, you know, advantage for the Euros in this cold, maybe. Uh, yeah, more practice I mean, in it, more prepared. All, all three of them are from Nordic countries, well used to ice and snow and cool conditions. Oh, makes good. Yeah, that just looked nice and easy. Her game looks so repeatable. You know, she was just throwing nice, smooth hyzers, letting the disc do the work. Absolutely, and again, you saw how flat that was. When you've mm -hmm. got a crosswind like that, that's a good play. Just putting it absolutely flat, and then the wind can do the 
Gwyn can't do much with it. And we just saw Henna card a birdie on her first hole. Paige Pierce makes good on the par save. And Evelina has a drop in par coming her way as well. Oh, big smile on her <laughs> face. <laughs> nice. Got to have your best friend on the car. That's got to be kind of nice. Katrina Allen, she's putting on hole two for birdie again. She is good. <laughs> she is good at those longer putts. Um, I've, I've just seen her so confident when she gets, you know, outside the circle. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll be very interested to see if she can follow that up with also solid putting inside the circle. Yeah. Which tends to be a weaker point of hers. Exactly. Reigning world champ playing like it right now. There is a good putt. From, uh, looks like Jessica Weiss making good. I can't. I. Oh, it's not. <laughs> Kona Panis making good. Ian has eagle eyes. But he also has <laughs> another camera view, so we actually can see the rest of you at home to see black blobs. <laughs> some light cheating, Elaine. Just some light cheating. Okay. Yeah. And it's a bit of a thin crowd here at you know early morning, yeah. freezing <laughs> temperatures. Weekday. Um, the spectators, yeah, will probably start uh, rolling in as it gets less frigid and as you say the weekend we should see some very strong crowds there's some here. huge crowds out here in vegas feature card getting ready to tee on too henna starting with a birdie along with Kristen. and hole number two is 324 feet uh, not a distance that will challenge any of the players on this card. True. Uh, however, just managing the slope in the the lie, especially towards the basket, there's that significant slope. That will be the key. It's so hard to get parked. You either end up short or long, thanks to that yeah, berm. Yeah, super easy to get short or long. Very <laughs> hard to hit it just right. Henna steps up. Looks like Hannah's going to go with a destroyer here. Looks a little inside, Elaine. Yeah, I was just about to say the destroyer will certainly keep her away from the OB. Mm -hmm. um, but that, um, that was a little surprising, considering how beautifully she controlled yeah. hole number one. Kristen. Kristen likes to throw the grace. I'm guessing that's probably what she threw there. Ooh. Um, a little bit long. She had the distance, but uh, needed to push it over to the right a little bit more on the drive. Of course, that's getting close to OB, so yeah, it you is. Know, there, there's that tend to want to err on the side of finishing left. Paige Pierce. Great bid from Pierce. Again, I, I don't know if they can see how close they are to hitting the basket <laughs> from the tee. I, th I think it might be a little bit blind. But they were definitely scaring it. Evelina with a destroyer as well. Um, Did it hit the flag? I couldn't tell. Um, that certainly... Huh landed to the right um I, I believe she's still inbounds okay but we'll have to see and this is your current leader natalie ryan ryan throwing her second shot on hole eight natalie currently sitting at six down wow yeah she had an eagle on the third hole and she's she's parred two out of the seven holes that she's played wow that one i don't know about the inbound status on that one yeah we'll have to check that out and there is your current top 10. 
still early in the game. Uh, the women who teed off first have finished, you know, just a little over half the holes. So a lot of room for things to change up. But Natalie Ryan has got to be feeling incredibly good at that Absolutely. strong opening that she has. And Kat Merch, three Rebecca for three. Cox. Yeah, Maria Oliva, Stacy Haas, all tied up at minus three. Kat's only played three holes, though. <laughs> <laughs> Look at she's three for three, killing it out there, starting her, her tourney season with a turkey. Well done. Well, uh, I'll just correct you. Kat hasn't put in her putt yet. She's at the minus two. Oh, really? Tied for six. Oh, cat merch. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, there's cat there's Allen. Cat there's the, cat there are multiple cats. Okay. Yeah. You're right. Starting out with a turkey. Yeah. But Katrina Allen can't match her, can't she, with her putt on two? She could. Yeah. yeah. Here That's is Henna. Ended up quite a bit left, also a little long. That looks like a precise upshot. I like that. It did, didn't it? Yeah. Sliding it right into the bucket. Good use of the ground there. Yes, that's one nice thing. You can really play the ground, play it for the skip, um, especially once we get into windy conditions. And I'm sure at some point this weekend, we're going to see blustering wind. Oh, yeah. And it's nice if you can just skid it along the ground and that kind of takes out a lot of variables of the wind. Tatar is outside the circle and she chooses just to lay up. Yeah, the same way you can slide it up to the basket. If you miss your putt, it can slide and slide and slide well much put. farther away than if it was a grassy landing spot. Paige Pierce, a better angle though. I, I bet she gets aggressive here. Why wouldn't she? She's Paige Pierce. She's she, also, yeah, she also she is Paige Pierce. Up. She does. <laughs> when you can do that. I guess so. That was a really nice putt. It was slow. It was nice and flat. Had good height and just rode all the way. Evelina? Hmm. Now, Evelina looked like she was throwing it up in the air, hoping it went in rather than really directing exact, that disc into the back. Exactly. That's so well put, Elaine. Exactly. And, you know, she could have some nerves. There, it sure. would not be surprising. Mm -hmm. There is Hannah cleaning up her par. Kristen, same deal. You know, there's plenty of time, plenty of room. Once you're comfortable to start racking in the score, and if Evelina just needs a few holes to feel comfortable, then so be it. We're going to take another look at that Paige Pierce putt. What a beaut. And while this settles, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back on the Disc Golf Network. Focus. Get rid of any of those pressure thoughts and really center yourself, like where you're at and the shot you're throwing, trying to just really let everything besides the basket bleed away. <laughs> radar in some regards in terms of the high level professional disc golf scene for a few years and we wanted to get back to that and bring in some additional firepower and part of that was bringing in the big gun. Right. 
is obviously a very smart player, and I don't think he's going to make it easy on anybody. Two-time yeah. world champion Ricky Wasaki. Yeah, it doesn't look like he is. he's showing any signs of slowing down. Welcome back to Vegas. We are going to swing over to some Natalie Ryan action, I believe. Yeah, now we saw that drive. It looked a little bit dicey about where she landed. Yeah, and, and it, she did go OB. This is going to be for double bogey, we're hearing. Well, it's a short putt, so she should be able to, to can that. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, uh, she... Let oh the my. nerves get the best of her. Oh, that's a snowman on hole eight for now. Turn it into a four-way tie for the lead. Cat Merch, Maria Oliva, and Stacy Haas. We are looking at Ella Hansen. She throws far. She absolutely does. Um, she throws very stable disc too. She really likes super stable. Um, and that could definitely work for her Vegas. on a course like this with wind that comes from kind of unexpected directions sometimes. And especially if we get into a situation where the wind picks up, as it often does during the day, being able to, to throw a very stable disc can sometimes really help you line up that disc and make that go in the intended direction. Looks like we're Jennifer Allen. Maybe this is the same hole. We hear second shot. This is a lot shorter than Jennifer Allen's second shot would normally come from. I'm guessing she went out of bounds. Possibly. Yeah, well, the Some cart paths are usually out of bounds. She didn't go out of bounds, but this this is not a great tee shot, though. I'd expect Jen to be a couple hundred feet farther down this fairway. <laughs> Just wait till she releases this one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, she made some significant yardage on that one. Yeah, she did. And Jennifer with the cart caddy. Always nice. Getting a look down from our drone cam. Love the ad this year. Yeah, the drone cam is something we're going to be seeing more yeah. of this year. And uh, what a great course to look at it from um, a distance like that, because especially because players can be so spread out on the field. And so we're going to look at Luke, Luke from Finland. And I have never seen her play before. Oh, she's Nor Norway. Yes, Norway. I, I, I was thinking Norway, and I said Finland. So <laughs> Luke, this is the first I have seen her play. Got a distance to go on that upshot, and does does not make it all the way. That that needed a lot more power. Yeah, that's gonna be a, a putt for four coming up for her. I think that's mom. It's hard to say. Um, a lot of Players um, pick up caddies, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, there are many people who are just dying for the <laughs> opportunity to caddy for a top player. So it's hard to say whether that's someone who traveled with yeah. her or someone who uh, just is a local caddy. Yeah. And so uh, the caddies will have caddy tags, as we saw from, from uh, this.
this caddy right here. That was uh, Raven Sorry, Newsom Sarah. actually caddying oh. for Sarah Hokum. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking team MVP. Who yeah. is it? But with the hood, I couldn't tell. Yeah. Sarah going to the backhand here for her third. Oh, I, I'm loving her backhands. You know, she can execute the backhand. She just needs to trust herself. That was Just lovely. like that. Yeah, why, did, why doesn't she do that all the time? Well, maybe she will. Maybe she is now. Maybe that's the New Year's resolution. There. And we are going back to the T of hole three, Katrina Allen. This should go a ways. Oh, she has turned it over, Elaine. She found yeah. a Guardians on the right. Well, not the end of the world, nope. um, but just disappointing that it hasn't gone yeah. a couple hundred feet farther. Yep. This looks, looks like a T change to me. It is farther back than it used to be, I believe. And it's now a par five for the women. And the cart path to the left is OB, and so that comes into play potentially all the way down. This hole is 666 feet, the evil number. It sure is. Going to Panis. Kona, skip, 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 skip. That went a really long way on the ground. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was not the game plan, yeah. but that was very effective. The, the ground is very hard. You don't lose a whole lot of energy by hitting the ground, yeah. glancing like that. Jessica Weiss. So she'll want to turn it over a little bit, but not too much. I didn't turn it quite enough. She may have an awkward stance in those yeah. scrubby bushes. Missy Gannon. I'd hazard a guess that's a thrasher, but can't be certain. Why wouldn't it be a thrasher? She loves that disc. <laughs> I like the deep breath she takes before she throws. Just getting her, s making sure she's relaxed. And that disc went in a much better direction yep. than the other women. She's on flat ground. And up ahead on the green is Jennifer Allen. So let's see if she can connect with the basket on this one. That was an eagle putt for Jennifer. She's got to tap in birdie at least. Well, I guess that first shot may not have been as short yeah. as we thought it was if she was putting for eagle. That was a really good run. I mean, Jennifer's not known for strong putting, mm -hmm. and that was a very, very solid attempt and very nearly went in. Yeah, the putts looked good so far. Hopefully that continues. Oh, what a putt right there. Her. Okay, that was from Luke. And popping over to, to, to Katrina Allen. Caught an early tree. She was right-hand side of the fairway. Pitches out to the middle nicely. Still getting up and down birdie from there. Indeed. Yeah, yeah. playing par five. But, you know, she's not very far forward from Missy's first shot, yeah, which was right. right up by those red flags. So uh, definitely that, that took a lot off her throw by veering over to the right. Evelina and Henna trying to stay warm during the backup. Okay, a little bit of disrobing is, is required uh, <laughs> by Jessica. She's in her bare arms. <laughs> it's like <laughs> barely 40 degrees. <laughs> she needs full range of motion, though, for that sidearm. You do. She put a good move on it. 
I just convert it to get up. Not quite as close to the basket as she would like, but that was a very good shot. That'd be a very easy birdie. It, it certainly will. Yeah. I mean, she's putting for eagle. Yeah. So this this looks like it's a rather soft par five for the women. Yeah, if you got some distance on you, I, I agree. And look at that tee, an oasis of green in the <laughs> desert. Someone must come out, you know, with a watering can and just water it every now and then. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have Missy or we're going to have Kona up next. We'll see here. Well, Missy is easy to spot from the aerial with that <laughs> she is. bright, you know, pink and white shirt. Looks like we're going to have a Kona shot. I know my Missy body language. Yep. Kona throwing two. a good shot. Really well done. Skipped right up into the circle. And an eagle bid she can run as well. Absolutely. Good angle on that green. Missy Gannon, let's see if she can line up an eagle putt of her own. Now hopefully the drop zone marker doesn't impede her run up. She's got to be thinking about it a little bit. I think you're right. Well, she's navigated the marker. Let's see how the shot lands up. Oh, that did not bother Missy her at all. Gannon. Oh. Oh, hoo -hoo. Tap in eagle. Yeah, so I, I'm guessing the first shot was about 350 feet, and that one was a little bit over 300. Yeah. Love and that's it. how you make an eagle. You're reigning disc golf pro tour champion. Doing things early. Paige Pierce. They're watching Disc Golf Network right now. They're watching videos of cats doing funny things. <laughs> They're watching something funnier than us, that's for sure. <laughs> Here's Katrina Allen's third throw now. She's going to have an outside the circle bid at a birdie still. Yeah, skips up a little bit short. Yeah, I was surprised I, by I that. It looks like the uphill, just she didn't factor it uh, enough into her throw. Mm -hmm. She's certainly very capable of putting it under the basket or past. I need to get in her bag and find out what she's throwing. She's got all those new DGA discs in there. I know, and that, that could be a little bit of the equation, too. You know, you can practice with discs and feel comfortable with them where you're practicing, and then uh -huh. you go into a different terrain, and suddenly there's all these questions in your mind. And we are going to swing over to Natalie Ryan, putting for birdie on hole nine, trying to come back from that snowman on eight. Oh, just lays up. Yeah, that, that little palm tree was really completely blocking her shot. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, it doesn't, didn't look like she had the heart to give it a, a real around the palm tree bid. Jessica Weiss, this is an eagle bid. A little bit uphill, a little tiny bit of headwind. Ooh, Ooh and a big Anheuser at it. That's, That's her thing. Yeah. 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 She, they will go in on occasion. Back to the T. Hole three, Paige Pierce. She's going to look to just zing one out there as straight as she can. Oh, and she's done that, Elaine. Picture perfect. Fantastic. And Missy's shot was at those red markers, and Paige has got to be 100 feet at least farther than that. Paige might be going mid on her second shot on a par five. <laughs> Well, she likes throwing the mids. She throws them well. She has a lot of control. Henna, going back to a destroyer. Oh, did she leave it left? She did. Yeah, it looked like it came out of her hand just a little bit early. It's the same story on hole two, if you remember. Yep. And it may be just a matter of getting a grip on the disc in this cold weather. Yeah, sometimes your fingers are not feeling it. 
Kristen. She's playing the low shot again. Oh, it oh. didn't get over the berm. Uh, I think she was playing it low on purpose, but mm -hmm. not quite that low. Evelina. It's a destroyer for Evelina. So she should be pretty comfortable just pounding one out there. There's a lot of room to work with, although the cart path does come into play on the right. It really is a generous lie, and there she is, dead in the middle of the drop zone. Yeah. Just nice grassy patch. Well placed. So everyone off the tee, but not everyone cleanly. Uh, we look at that Katrina Allen putt. That Didn't get it high enough. You could see it was just a little low out of her hand. So she should be taking a par on the comebacker. This is Kona Panis. Putting for Eagle. And so Kat Merch atop of the leaderboard. That's not a position that we see her in often. Yeah. She's been having a great run, though. Um, just really playing solidly. Um, no mistakes. And that's what you need to do. Wow. We've got Natalie Ryan, Emily Beach, maybe a name that, that you're not so familiar with, and Maria Oliva. So it's a, a matter generally of not making a mistake. And so most of the women who are up top of the leaderboard have no mistakes or one mistake. Here is Natalie on hole 10. Get out of the way, Natalie. You can't <laughs> see where this one. Doesn't look too excited about it. No, but... That might it, just be hole it, 8 it, still. It, yeah, it... <laughs> may still be a little <laughs> bit of a, you know, needs to do something terrific to get a reaction. Yeah, yeah. As the players um, get up to that drop zone area that uh, Evelina has put herself so very clearly into, we'll probably have a couple of shots first. It looks like Kristen is lining up hers. And it's just about pin high with Evelina, but a little bit more off to the right. This is her second, trying to set up an eagle look. It's a long way to get the eagle oh look. No. Oh, she clipped that tree. You better stop. Oh, I can't see where that finished. The cart path is over there. It says, Terry, can tell that that one landed in bounds? Yeah, guys, that actually did stay in bounds by just a few feet. It's short of the cart path, so she's still in. So it sounds like Henna went out of bounds on her drive, though, Terry? Unfortunately, I couldn't see from this side of the fairway as to if she went out of bounds or not, though. Gotcha. I'm noting that on Udis there. What a shot from Evelina. Very, very nicely played. Eagle look coming up for the fin. And, you know, that that's more than just a precise upshot. That's a precise drive. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. But for right hand, backhand, it's very favorable to be throwing hyzer into that slope. So this is one of the more forgiving greens. Although it's sloped, uh, it works in the favor of most players. So Hannah went out of bounds on her drive. She's now throwing three. A good, uh, good shot here. Could leave her a birdie putt. And she got to see Evelina's line. So she'll try and follow that exactly. Ooh. A little bit strong. Uh, I don't think she was trying to put it in from the, the drop zone there. No. So she'll have a circle's edge look for her birdie comebacker. Kristen will now walk over to her th third throw. Oh, there you can see that. This stayed just in bounds. Yep, just by a couple feet, as Terry was telling us. We're going to show you that Kona putt here. We fix the sound. A little nicer on your ears this time. And that's a nice result for oh, Kona as well. That is an eagle. Dang. I believe. You are right, Elaine. Thank you. Awesome. I am just, I cannot tell you how glad I am to see Kona putting just straight forward. Um, and she looks very comfortable with it too, doesn't she? She really does. Paige Pierce, that monster drive. 
that was crazy. That must have been close to 400 yeah. feet. She certainly is throwing a very blunt edge disc. Mm, it looks like a mid, yeah. And even goes long. Paige Pierce problems. Kristen's <laughs> <laughs> uh. smoothing out the ground, so there's two things. Number one, you can get a large stone that can actually cause you to kind of roll your ankle, or you could just slip on the scree. So she just wanted to make sure that she had enough of footing and unfortunately didn't quite give it enough hyzer. So she's got a yeah. little bit of a putt, a little bit of work still to do. Yeah, they almost act like little ball bearings on the ground there. <laughs> yeah, they do. And for someone who is very heavy on their feet, mm -hmm. that, that can really cause a problem. Katrina Allen. She is coming in at that basket. Yes, she is. Beautiful drive. Cat currently sitting at two down. Through three. Cat Merch, your leader, though. Four down through six. Way to go, Cat yeah. Merch. And she's such a happy player. I, I really love being on yeah. Kat's card. She's always smiling, and, you know, I've played with her when she has not had a good round, uh -huh. and, you know, she just is a little philosophical, and she says, you know, well, I, you know, I'm young. I'm still learning. I was going to say, she's not even that old. But <laughs> she is still, a, you know, a, a very, very early in her career, yeah. and, uh, and she knows it, and so that's a lot of wisdom, you that's know, that to have, you know, to be able to be patient. But maybe her day has come. Maybe her weekend has come. Looks like it so far. We have some outside the circle bids coming up for Kristen and Hannah. Yeah, and for Kristen to make mistakes on her first two drives, that's got to really sting. She's usually such a consistent player, very in control. Four birdie. Ooh. Almost in. Chain high, but just to the right there. Henna wants no Hannah's part of that yep, one. Yep, That was a bit of a scary look. If she missed it, it's just all downhill from there. Oh, it looks like she had some low ceiling coming out, too. Maybe a, a little more pace than she would have wanted to put on it. Paige Pierce for Eagle. So that's how you play that holy lane. Beautifully done. You just zing it out 400 feet. You throw a buzz or something <laughs> and just put in your 15-footer. Must be nice. Must be nice. Evelina. Oh, no. A little bit high. Oh. And you can see the wind is kind of variable. And it was a good, strong attempt. It was a good, aggressive putt, um, but just over-zinged it. And again, it might be some of that nervous energy, yeah. you know, coming coming out, and she might just, instead of having a normal, nice, um, smooth stroke, she might be just getting a little bit too much push in it. Yep. Kristen makes good on her par. This is a par for Henna as well. Although par is a disappointing score. Yeah, really, on this one, absolutely. On a under 700 foot hole with nothing in the way, really. Yeah, we saw the drive. Here's the putt for Katrina Allen. Huh. Yeah, there we go. It's it, she, she's good farther. She's good shorter, but that is her nemesis zone, the sort of twenty footers uh -huh. that she just hasn't quite figured out how to be consistent at that distance. I, I, I want us to feel like she just feels the most pressure in those putts. You know. Well, I mean, when she's farther back, she can use that nice lofting mm -hmm. style. But when you get too close, it's too lofty. Oh. You can't do that anymore. So then you have to change your style. And so if you're just, you know, 10, 15 feet away, you just push it in. But, you know, 15 oh, to 20 to 25, it's more than a push. You actually have to throw it. And she hasn't just quite got oh. that throwing style that doesn't have the loft in it. I love that analysis, Elaine. Thank you. You are looking at Kona. She's been very smooth in her putting so far. And she is putting for bogey after going OB, unfortunately. Yep. 
very solid putt. And Kona still no pars on the day, but she's even. We are swinging over to Natalie Ryan on 11. A live look at your early leader, but not right now. And she did get back on a track with a birdie on the previous hole, so hopefully she's just kind of calmed those nerves after that very uh, gut-wrenching eight and, yeah. you know, can just put that in the past. Yeah, a nice drive there, though. I guess she's your co-leader, excuse me, with Cat Merch. Paige Pierce already just won back along with Sarah Gilpin. Oh, well done. And Emily Beach hangs strong in there. Yeah. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of people tied at oh three my under. Wow. It, the list just goes on and on and on. I love to see Hope C. Brown there. Um, that is our former junior champion. She was junior oh really? champion three times. And the last time was just 2019. She was the 15 and under champion. Oh, dang. So Hope is way at the beginning of her career. Oh, wow. And really nice to see her off to a solid start here in Vegas. Oh, stay in bounds. Come on back in. It's Come on back in. Come on. Oh, oh, my goodness. That had so many chances to Didn't come it? back in. It just it was <laughs> trying, and then just the spin got just the worst of it. Uh, I think if the slope hadn't changed there, that disc may well have curled back in. Evelina? That is a stable disc. Yeah, you so saw how much Anheuser that had off the tee. And then that went high, so with a vengeance. Yeah, that's a destroyer again from Evelina. Henna? Looks like Henna's warmed up. She, there's a layer missing. We've got a Thunderbird coming from Henna. Not yeah, bad. Not bad, but that that's going to be an awfully tough um, birdie putt. Kristen. Yeah, she's keeping them all low. And hmm. again, just a little bit too low. Yeah. So she's going to have to make an adjustment. Uh, I couldn't see in her form why it is, but there she is with Silver. I'm sure Silver's been observing and will give her any pointers on her form. Here are your Canna current conditions. 42 degrees, warming up a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot. Wind speed, zero miles an hour. I don't believe that. It, uh, it might be on the average zero, <laughs> but as we've seen. <laughs> it blows that way and then the other way? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Love it. Uh, we are going to swing over to Katrina Allen. Over on hole five. Oh, what a beaut from Cat! Fantastic. I you know, you, you got to think that those DGA discs are agreeing with her. They really look like it so far. She's not having trouble turning anything over to have that beautiful glide. You know, you, you kind of need yeah. with those beat-in discs. Cat working hard in the off-season. Should be no surprise to anyone who knows Cat. Cat works hard. She, she is just a, works hard. Yeah. Kona Panis. And this hole is 370 feet. You know, it is, it's not a short hole. She's pin high. It Co is downhill, though, so that makes the distance a bit shorter. Tatar, her second. Yeah, a nice layup for par there. I think it's set. She thinks it's set. <laughs> She had a second look just to make sure <laughs> yeah. there was nothing crazy happening. Terry, did that did that one sit, or was a yeah was it rolling yeah, around it on Kristen? Right around the, rolled right around the pin, and it's just two feet away. She's good. Oh, okay, <laughs> crisis averted. Look at Evelina, and she lays up nicely for her par. Yeah. I imagine we'll see the same from Henna, unless elevated pin. Yeah, the elevated pins, they, they make you work harder for the birdies.
Ooh. Oh, such a good try. That was a nice, lofty bid. She wasn't going to go screaming past. And, you know, when you do those and they hit the rim, you always go, oh, why didn't I just give it a little <laughs> bit more? I wasn't fully committed. <laughs> and that's probably exactly what happened. She, she wasn't fully committed. She liked the idea of it going in. But You are watching Paige Pierce take her meter in off the out-of-bounds drive. A chance to save par here. Beautifully done. It is so great a feeling when you've gone on out of bounds and you can save it. And it looks like she won't be losing any strokes to the field there. Yeah. Euros thought they might grab a stroke on her right there, but she shut that one down. Ooh, that one got high in the chains, but settles nicely. There's Evelina with the par and Kristen. Tatar will drop in a par as well. And while they walk to five, we are going to swing over to Natalie Ryan. On the 11th, this is a putt for Birdie to take the lead. It's a long putt. Now she, she, that was just too long. She wasn't comfortable to give that a run. That, that was not the time. Missy Gannon, is she comfortable with this putt? Ooh, almost. Leaves it just short. And there's a lot of shots of walking when we're covering <laughs> Vegas because there's a lot of ground. Like, it's it's a long course. Yes, it uh, is. It's well spaced between uh, the basket and the next tee. And uh, even though there are three courses on one property, there is plenty of room. There we go. Wow. That's a separator birdie. Oh, absolutely. 370 feet. Wow. Katrina Allen has come to play in 2022. Three down through five is Cat. Missy Gannon, comeback par putt. Gannon makes good. Jessica Weiss taking off her um, coat every time she throws. Paying off right there with a nice putt. Panis for par, I believe. And I think that's Kona's first par of the day. A little roller coaster round. Hopefully she can smooth it out, though. Somebody must have warned them we were trying to listen in because they stopped talking. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Paige Pierce takes the tee. I believe this is a buzz from Pierce. In the circle. Pretty well that's, done. It's a beautiful place to be in the circle. So nicely shaped. Evelina. Oh, yeah? Oh. I can get closer. <laughs> the old happy Gilmore. Somebody's closer. Henna. Ditching the jacket. 370 feet, but downhill, so it plays shorter. I believe she's going back to that Thunderbird again. Well, let's hope she turns it over just a bit more. 
Okay, she has. That's too much, though. I think you're right. Ooh, there is OB over there. Safe, thankfully. Wow, that must have caught a bush because that had <laughs> that had a lot of steam. It sure did. Tatar up next. Chris and Tatar with a lovely drive. Well, we are going to roll back that Zuka replay, that Evelina Solana drive. Just beautifully done. I love my Zuka cart almost almost as much as she loves that shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're seeing a lot of players with Zuka carts, for sure. Natalie Ryan on 12. I'm going to rely on you, Ian, to tell me. Oh, well, she liked it. Okay. Now, she liked it. I don't know. It just disappeared. I couldn't see a thing. I got nothing on that. It, as long as she likes it, that's that's the main thing. There as she is vying for the lead, um, four down has set the pace, but tons of players at three down as well. So not too much separation through this first round no. so far. Yeah. See if someone can kind of push away from the field. Paige Pierce, Katrina Allen, your likely candidates, scoring well early. Sarah Gilpin, too, doing things. Jessica Weiss, two through five. A lot of golf to play in Vegas. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. Well, I guess we can see it. Yep. Just barely. Oh, it's an FD. Excuse me. Yep. Uh, I don't know what slowed it down, but. That curb, maybe? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe the curb is just a. Tear you down there. Did it hit the curb and bounce in? Yeah, guys, that's exactly what it did. It is clearly saving her wow. a stroke. See if she can cam the long putt. Oh, you gotta love when that happens. Are you discussing meter in off curb or sidewalk? Yeah, that's what they're discussing. Do you know which one it is? Uh, it depends what it says in the caddy book. So let me see. It's hole number five. Yeah. Um, cart path and prior. Cart path. Just says cart path. So maybe the curb's in. Um, it looks like Paige is doing the same thing you just did. Yep. Well, I'm not in the group, but if I was in the group, I would say the curb is not part of the cart path. Yeah, that makes sense. The cart path doesn't always have a curb, so you have to be consistent. Ah. Just logic. That's well reasoned, Elaine. I like it. Um, the other thing is, is it really going to make that much of a difference? Like, where does she <laughs> want to stand? Does <laughs> like just four inches really make a super difference? <laughs> um, <laughs> the basket's oh, right from there. The curb. From the curb, yeah. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff Jacqua, or your tournament director, giving us some info there. Oh, I see. She wanted to straddle. So that's why uh -oh. it was critical. You know, if, if she was just going to stand there and flick it, you know, really didn't matter. I imagine that nestled by the basket. Looks like it did. That's a weird shot. It's blind, so she couldn't see where it landed. Mm -hmm. She was waiting for someone to give her the cue. Tatar has a birdie putt coming up. Kristen just sitting at one under par currently. Beautiful. I didn't expect it to go in when it left her hand so she low. She generates crazy power from that straddle. It's Gosh. impressive. Yeah. I, I struggle to do that. I don't know about you. Are you a stagger or straddle? Um, I do some straddling, but, you know, the putt of hers that most astonished me was hole 17 at the Great Lakes Open oh when she goodness. made that enormously uphill putt. And I'm like, like, if I was straddling, I would be jumping. <laughs> I'd be falling on my face afterwards yeah. just to try and get all the power out of there. And somehow she gets it with not very much knee bend. But... 
obviously th there's a lot of snap from her wrist. Oh <gasps> my goodness. That oh my goodness. That just went right through. This hyzer putt of hers is not doing her favors no, right now. No, it isn't. It's, it's, he, saw, he just saw it cut through the chains, and we saw the wind wreak havoc on it earlier. Yeah, I mean, she really prefers to throw hyzer. Mm -hmm. Drives, approaches, putts. Yeah. Natalie Ryan, a drop in to take the lead. That's why she was excited. Wow. Oh, yeah. I, I, that's <laughs> worth being excited about. <laughs> Definitely. Whew. That's a tough hole, too. I think she putted left-handed there. That was... <laughs> I think you're right. This is Kat's second on six. Oh, hole six. <laughs> this is the most exciting hole in the world, <laughs> let me tell you. Oh, gosh. So when you play this in practice, uh -huh. it's so easy. So you've got one landing zone. You've got another landing zone. Another land. Oh, no. This is the wrong six. This we'll we'll get the right six, six here we'll in a second. We'll get to that six. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, you describe it. It's basically like <laughs> three, it's three golf greens, basically. Yes, exactly. Or golf tees. Oh, wait till we get to that one. Working on grabbing but another drone shot of it, possibly. Yeah, here we go. Drone saving the day. So those are your three fairway islands. Yes, and in practice, it's just ever so easy to hit them. And, you know, most of the women will be going for the second island. Uh-huh. Except in a tournament. Somehow there always seems to be this weird fierce wind coming in a strange direction that you've never thrown before. So, um, yeah, every time I think I've played that in a tournament, I've been resorted to taking my putter and just plopping from <laughs> island to island like a frog on lily pads or something. Um, but It's so smart, but it can't feel great. Oh, it doing feels it, horrible. Right? <laughs> it just feels horrible. But I'll say this. We've seen the wind be quite gentle to this point. So oh, true. I would expect our feature card women, a lot of them, if not all of them, to try and go for that second island. It's not worth going for the farthest island where the basket is, mm -hmm. because if you miss it, you're, you're just way back at the drop zone. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of risk reward there. And you can see how tiny that island is. But the second island, you know, if you feel you've got some good control on your game, it's very, very viable to go for the second island. We are going to look at the green of hole six and Katrina Allen tapping in. That's a birdie. She had a plan and she threw her plan, it looks like. She always plans. She, she's not a spontaneous player. She likes to think things through, reason it, make her game plan, and then something has to be significantly different for her to change her game plan. And Kat, four down through six holes. Watch out. Her and Paige Pierce are climbing the board in a hurry. Speaking of, Paige Pierce teeing on hole six. Looks like a putter. Here we go. Beautifully done. That looked like a buzz. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, very, very little wind, and oh, so easy <laughs> when there, there's no <laughs> wind. Tatar on the box. Sidearm. Yeah. Oh my. Oh. Terry, that's that's, a that's in, right, Terry? Terry? Yeah, guys, that is in bounds by a couple feet. All right, Evelina. Really nice shot. Yeah. No danger of it being left or right. And Henna. That'll work. Beautiful. Great shots by all the women. And back, we're going to swing over to Natalie to Ryan. Okay, what crazy thing is Natalie going to do now? Right. Whoa, it low did seem skip very shot. Low. Oh. There are hazards over there. <laughs> Katrina Allen. 
over on hole seven. There is OB down there. Oh, wow. Late action. Working out really well. Just got another birdie putt coming up for Cat. Well, seven three hundred and fifty-eight feet. It's a good pull. A little bit downhill, I think. It so, is, yeah. So play is probably a little bit shorter, but really, really great control. Yeah. Evelina, throwing her second on hole six. Okay, just do what you did before. Ooh, that's going left. Oh, oh, that's. Out Red. of bounds. So that re the first shot she threw so flat, and the second sh shot she just went back to her hyzer. And it's fine to throw a hyzer. You just need to pull it way off to the right if you're going to do that. Big unforced error there. Yep, very much so. Really, really favorable conditions for this hole. Yeah. Tatar going to the jump putt here for her second. Yeah, the power, why not? Ooh. <laughs> that one is inbounds, thankfully. I think the out of bounds extends a little past the grass. Does it? Okay. Henna? There we go. There's That's a flat how shot. you throw the shot. <laughs> yep. Nice and close to the basket. Count that birdie for Henna. Paige Pierce. Wouldn't put it past her to give this an honest bid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a little bit far. All right. Yeah, all that's right. That's the jump putt layup. <laughs> there we go. And back to Nyla Ryan we go. She did find the hazard, so this is a putt for par. It's not too far a putt. Very makeable. But a little bit of a headwind. Oh, oh. Doesn't bother her. She at all. played it really nicely. Yeah. Saving par. She's feeling good. Just that one smirch on her card. And otherwise, she's been very clean. Just par pars, birdies, or one eagle. One smirch on the card. She's tied with a merch. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you tried to do there. <laughs> Evelina? Yeah. Th now that's the shot she tried to throw yeah. originally. Tage Pierce tapped in her birdie to Tar. Also lining up a birdie putt. And she makes good. Beautiful. Hannah? She Played. can almost reach in and just drop it in if she really stretched. Evelina with the unfortunate five on hole six. Yeah, Evelina's <coughs> just not feeling comfortable. She's n not executing the way that we... Hello Leopard 3 is stable, it want to go straight all day long, that's why I love it. It feels good in my hand, it's just very comfortable to grip, just throw, it's going to fly straight for you. And I love the plastic, it is beautiful, look at this color, when you have a pretty dish like this, you just want a birdie right? You saw the drive, now let's check out the putt. Katrina Allen for birdie on seven, makes good again. Beautifully done. That's a tough hole. That's a score separator, for sure. Natalie Ryan, we were looking at hole 14. 
again, that looked like it had plenty of distance. Mm -hmm. She's nodding. She's nodding. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> That'll do. Get a live look. Our drone cam. Your feature card getting ready to tee here on seven. Downhill shot. A little bit of extra slope right at the green, too. Why not have some extra slope <laughs> at the green? It would be boring <laughs> if we didn't. Exactly. I I've got to say, though, it, it really does make this course. Having these huh? little slopes and the basket positions, this could be a very boring course mm -hmm. if it was not designed with the thought that, yep. that it had been. And we're going to swing over to Missy Gann, who's putting for par on seven. from almost the same position as Cat Birdie. Oh, nice putt, Missy. There is your feature card on the tee of seven. The youngster, Hope C. Brown, still three down. Good for Hope. Yeah. And this really is Hope's kind of course. She's yeah. she's not good in the woods. She just <laughs> she likes to throw she rips. hard. <laughs> Love it. And you can see just yeah that little bit of slope at the end of the basket sloping towards the OB cart path, and you can see very easily a, a disc that got an edge could stand up and roll. So the players are going to be thinking about that when they drive. But if anyone is short, or if you're putting in that direction, that's going to be a consideration as well. Paige Pierce on the box of seven. This looks early. A lot early. Yeah. Bit of a miscue there from Pierce. Just very safe. It, that's exactly the word for it, isn't it? Tatar. And she'd like to get a little something going. Her, her, her game's been a little bit flat, but yeah, she errs on the side of keeping it well away from that OB. Yeah. And maybe that's part of the game plan. Maybe the game plan is just take your three and run. Yeah. Because I don't think there are going to be very many twos. I, w I would not imagine so. Henna. There's Hannah's drive. She looks like she's going a little more directly at it, but uh, again, just that big hyzer at the end. Yep. And it could be a little bit of a wind effect as well. Evelina. This is more aggressive. That definitely is. I like the look of that. And she was rewarded for her aggression. You know, when she takes out that green disc, whatever it is, she throws it well. She does, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These destroyers, I think she's got to find something between the destroyer and that green disc. Getting a look at hole seven, brought to you by VII. Hole seven's been brought to you then by all year long. And they're an apparel company, correct? Yeah, that's correct. I, I think we're so wearing their shirts right now. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And you know, you can never have too much disc golf gear. It's true. I've, my closet's kind of full. <laughs> <laughs> the Goodwill, but my house is almost <laughs> full now too. <laughs> Natalie Ryan, putting for birdie. It's a short putt with a pretty strong left to right wind. 405 foot par three for the outright lead. Oh, Ooh. she cans it. It looks so high, but that's what you have to do. You have to get it high when the wind is going left to right. Is that that her first? That's the first birdie on that hole. Now, I mean, it's a 405 foot hole, it's a so big one. there's a very limited number of women who can reach it. Oh. Natalie, definitely one of them. Paige and Cat, for sure. Uh, some of the others, possibly too, if they just get the right great um, angle of the wind, maybe a little wind help. Speaking of Katrina Allen, here she is on eight with a really nice drive. Nice slide off that 
close cut turf on the golf green yeah. fairway. Hole eight playing as a par five for the women. And it looks all nice and kind right now, but wait till you get close to the basket. <laughs> there is water. There is OB. Yeah, it's a There's pretty a cart path that comes into shot. play. Yeah, so just in, enjoy zinging out a couple of drives. Um, well, actually, for, for many of these women, they're going to have to start thinking on their second drive, whether mm. they've got enough distance to go into the water hazard or not. It's Terry, how's the atmosphere on this card? They, they, are they talking? Are they quiet? Yeah, it seems like everyone's kind of keeping to themselves. Paige has a caddy, so she's been talking with her most of the time. Of course, we see Evelina along with Hannah talking. I think we're going to see Paige Pierce with a layup here in a moment, though. I bet you're right, Terry. <laughs> Paige, um, you know, she's trying to lay up, but, it, but it, that isn't actually a bad layup, you no, know, to, to give it a little bit of height so that it just drops rather than giving it um, spin but a lower trajectory, that can get you into trouble. The best thing is to have it just like plop right down on the ground. Kristen? Hopefully that sat close. Yeah, close enough. Just she looked very unsure, didn't she? She did, she did. Yeah, Kristen is just still trying to get her feet under her. I mean, she's doing okay, not making um, much in the way of a mistake. I mean, her biggest mistake turned out to be a par. There's a birdie. There. There you go, Evelina. You can do it. She's Throw the it. disc flat. It'll work. Yep, she did it. Nice to see her bounce back after some struggles earlier. Makes good on the par. Kristen and Paige should follow that up with pars of their own. Yeah, it's just one of those holes. Unless you're pretty close, it's just going to be a three. So I bet when we look at the stats, we're going to just see a whole lot of threes on this hole. You are correct. Let's Back over to Natalie Ryan we go. Yeah. Hole 15. Oh, outside. That looked like a very easy throw. But it's it's quite blind, so. Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell. Yeah, we, we need more cameras. More <laughs> cameras. <laughs> but there she is. She's through 11. And there is certainly the opportunity for some of the other women to catch Natalie's score. There are holes left. Absolutely, yep. Paige and Kat just threw seven holes, not far back. Just one off the pace. And just the one big blemish. I yeah. mean, she's just going to be kicking herself <laughs> for, for that, but... Um, He's sitting at nine down with a par there, but... Yeah. Yep, that's disc golf, though. Over to Jessica Weiss. This is going to be her second. Over on and hole eight. she's going to have to calculate where she wants the disc to land. Mm. We've got water to the right side of the approach to the basket. We've got OB on the left side golf of green. the approach to the basket. Yeah, it looks like it's probably a golf green. Um, you know, many of these women, I think, are just going to play it for the par, and they're going to throw short on their second shot and then make a precise chip shot. That seems like the smart play. Weiss, her second. That was well aimed. Yeah. That looks like a good spot to land, and you'll notice there's a little bit of a up a berm, I guess, mm -hmm. and that holds the disc nicely so it doesn't get way over there to the left. Getting a look at this beautiful wild horse property. The great thing at 
Vegas is you can stand anywhere and turn around 360 degrees and see a mountain ridge <laughs> wherever you are. It is. It's just beautiful. Kona Panis. Checking out that distance. Busting out the Bushnell. It's important to be really realistic about your abilities. There is quite a lot of OB in play on this shot. And you just want to lay it up unless you're very, very certain that you can execute a second shot close to the basket. This looks like a very controlled layup, but short. It's I shorter would say. than you'd want, yeah, but it's still, I think, it's what you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But that's part of the Kona plan on this hole, right? She looked very deliberate mm -hmm. when she made the shot. But of course, you can't tell from her reaction because you get no reaction from Kona. You get nothing. No matter what happens. <laughs> the Calvin Heimberg of, <laughs> of the FPO side. <laughs> Natalie Ryan, live look on 15. Another birdie? Oh. Why not? Why not just put it in? Dang. That was like circle's edge. She's feeling good. Wow. She can be a little bit of an emotional player, but um, once she rebounded from uh -huh. just that weird eight that yeah. she got, I mean, she's just feeling good. She's playing well. She's using her distance to advantage, but she's following it up with a good, confident putt. Yeah, the putt is looking solid. Katrina Allen. This will be her second. Total distance, 735. So Kat could get there in two, huh? She could. It's Does she want to? <laughs> it's a risk-reward. Yeah. So uh, many of those decisions out here in Vegas, they do a really good job of yeah, that. Yeah, they, they do. They, they make you think. Oh, she didn't like what she did there. Terry, is he down there for that card? Terry, can you see that one? Can you tell what got on the green yeah, there? Or is like she okay? Yeah, yeah, pushed off to the left. I heard the gallery clap, so I'm going to assume they were clapping and rewarding a good shot. <laughs> All right, good to hear. All right, has, Terry, is the card checking you, Disc? Are they aware of what Natalie Ryan's doing out in front of them? Yeah, unfortunately, I'm more down the fairway, so I'm not sure if they're keeping an eye on Natalie. Uh, but I did want to actually add in a little earlier, Silver Lot is walking along. That's Kristen Tatar's boyfriend. He's taking in all the action before he plays this afternoon. Hey, nice. I saw him trying to stay warm out there, doing some stretches. <laughs> well, when you're not throwing, it's, it's really <laughs> cold out there. Uh, it's just about 40 degrees, as we saw. Um, there's a little bit of wind. And when you're not doing much, it gets cold in a hurry. Evelina putting that destroyer down the fairway nicely. Yeah, she threw that well. She turned that over enough. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe after her birdie, she's now getting in the groove. That would be really nice to see. Paige Pierce. Sitting two off the pace, set by Natalie Ryan. She's screaming for it to get by the tree, and it did. <laughs> I, it might have ticked a little I bit. I think it might have, yeah. But that did a very good job at getting through the tree. You can see the camera crew huddling to keep warm, <laughs> too. Tatar. Trying to make this thing a little more. But it's still going to be nice. Yeah, that did okay. And here comes Henna. Is that the Thunderbird again? I think this one's the Destroyer. It's a little more green. She turned it over. She's not looking. Oh, it's just into the ground. Yeah. Ah, it's not the worst thing you can do. Yeah. Thanks for that Vegas grass. And we're going to take...
I'm going to roll back a Zuka replay, what Natalie Ryan has been up to lately. It's been all good things. Playing that crosswind so yeah, nicely really on that putt. Yeah, really bold to keep it high, which is what you need to do with that left to right crosswind. Just an easy throw there. That landed her so close to the basket. And followed it up with this putt. Cash. Very nice. You, you see how flat that came out of her hand. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to actually anhyzer your putt for it to come out flat like that. Yeah? Yeah. T to green. That's where she is getting strokes on, folks. Now that that 8.74 may decrease as the feature cards <laughs> come through, but boy, right now she is scorching. Here she is on 16. That, that looks smushed. She's, she's wow. telling it to slow Sit. down. <laughs> <laughs> is she worried about the golf green down there or something? <laughs> oh my goodness. Paige Pierce. Yeah, she's eyeing the distance. Distance wise, she can reach that pin. But it, again, it's that equation of where is the disc going to land exactly. Yep. You don't want it in the wet, and you don't want it in the OB area. This looks like what Paige is waiting on, Katrina Allen. Yeah, that, that's a that, layup, very yep. controlled. That'll work. Kona Panis. That's a... That's so tapping birdie for Cat. Yeah, Kona's got a tricky downhill putt. That's a fair bit downhill. And we'll see how good she really feels about this putting style as to how aggressively she goes for it. That was a really good attempt. It was. She was feeling good about it. She got a lot of chain. Didn't land very far by. So, you know, when you do that, you have to congratulate yourself and not kick yourself yeah, that sure. it didn't go in because that was a lower probability putt. Mm -hmm. And she gave it a chance. Weiss coming back. And Jessica makes good on the birdie putt. And we're going to swing back to Paige Pierce. And I bet you she decided to go a little aggressive. 427 feet. Oh, wow. Is this turning enough, Elaine? I can't see the Terry, disc. Terry, you got eyes on that one for us? Oh, looks like it finished left of the green. We shall see shortly. We shall. Should be a pretty easy birdie. Just a pitch up from there. Henna. Her second on hole eight. This is going way left. But it's safe, though. Safe. Yep. And Katrina Allen, tap in birdie. And Katrina Allen now just one off the pace set by Natalie. Evelina. There's the disc coming in. I guess this is how you play the hole, yep. Elaine. You just throw it over there. <laughs> you pitch down and you take your birdie. Well, obviously, it's it's a good, safe landing place. As I said, that upslope mm -hmm. stops the disc from going too far. Um, you can throw a nice stable disc if that's what your jam is, and it can just hyzer into the side of the hill and not cause you a problem. And obviously, there must be a good look from that vantage point up to the basket. Kristen and Silver debating Kristen's shot. That man's forehand is unbelievable, Elaine. <laughs> unbelievable. What would you pay to have that man's Gosh, forehand? Gosh, I'd probably give like five to ten Gs, probably. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be really fun, you know? And it's nice when you can have a caddy to do your range finder for you. You yeah. don't spend your valuable 30 seconds doing that. 
And we're seeing most of the players using a rangefinder. And let me tell you, on a course like this where it's very wide and open, it really helps. It can be very difficult to figure out exactly how far the basket is. That was oh. an aggressive shot. She went over the water. It is getting the green flag. Water. Yes, she is. Yeah, that looked good from where I was, but. I'm with you, though. I also Fantastic. feel like this is the most important course to have a bushnell on. Just You don't have frames of reference, you know, on this golf course. No, it just everything looks the same, and the baskets are a little raised or they're a little bit lowered, and it can really throw off your perspective yep. of how far you need to throw. And as well, just gauging how far it is to the out-of-bounds as well <laughs> oh, can good be point. really important. And Natalie does, doesn't need a bushnell for this shot. It's looking good. Yep, that's another putt for Bert. Yep, she kept it 30. wide and just let it come back in left to the upslope. Um, she would rather have the uphill putt than go over the berm and have the up and down. And there's that water we were talking about as well as the golf green. So a lot of our players just went well left of that golf green just and to take all the out of bounds out of play. Makes so much sense. Really smart golf. Except Kristen, who wants to get to the basket. <laughs> She's trying to make some, some birdies and some eagles. She might have a long eagle bid. Maybe 50-footer? We'll see. And I would not discount a putt of almost any distance from Kristen. She's got a very strong putt. Should have some layups coming up here shortly, I would imagine. Paige Pierce, first of those. Looks like Paige's Paige Fierce disc. And Paige's hair has gotten so long, she doesn't quite know what to do with it anymore. <laughs> like, do I leave it back? Do I flip it at the front? Oh, perfect. She's very happy with that <laughs> layup. <laughs> Um, she obviously <laughs> was a little bit concerned about it because she she's super joyful about that, you know, 175 foot layup. <laughs> she's beaming. <laughs> Evelina, see if she can match that. Yeah, pretty close. Mm -hmm. I think Paige still has her though by a foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's excited. Most excited I've ever seen Paige for a layup. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. Yeah. It was well thrown, though. Got to give it to her. Henna swinging it out wide. Doesn't like this. Yeah. Ooh, and well, bounce, though. In, yeah. It, it's probably not as bad as she was fearing. Yeah. But it is a circle's edge putt for her birdie. And, I mean, that just shows you how tricky that approach shot is, precise approaches. I, I kind of think maybe Paige's reaction could be because she's messed it up in practice. Oh, there you go. Because, you, go. you know, oh, I mean, I it's like only that. round one. Uh, the, uh, as you say, you shouldn't be that excited <laughs> yeah. about a layup. But you can see there's slope. And Tatar, that's a drop in birdie for Kristen. We'll have... One putt from Henna for birdie and three drop-ins from the rest of the gang here. And look at how lazy Silver is. He isn't even carrying her bag. What? Silver. That's, that's, <laughs> that's poor form. Poor form, sir. He's saving himself for the afternoon. <laughs> he, he is, I think so. Maybe he offered and she said no, too. We could, it, it could be that type of situation where she's oh, like more absolutely. comfortable with it. you know. i got to say, I usually like carrying my bag. Yeah. Unless it's raining, and then I want someone to carry it for me. Okay, Hannah needs to put this in. Oh, when it's raining, I get sh I get someone else to play for me too. They just, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I live in California, Lee, and we don't we don't do rain rounds. Oh, that's right. You're you get very excited when it's humid. I saw I saw snow. Even, even. <laughs> Yes, it was snowing outside the studio here in Milwaukee. Yeah. Um, not so different a temperature than our players are experiencing. <laughs> it's true. And there is Hannah making good on her putt. Yeah, so she took an extra stroke to the rest of the field. Um, so she'll be a little discouraged about that. I'm sure she's played it better in practice. Yeah. And everything went 
right until just that approach shot got away from her a little bit. Mm -hmm. Natalie Ryan on 16. This is for birdie, and she gets it again? You know, Ooh, when wow. you're having a good putting day, you have a good putting day. Putting and is it, like that, isn't it? It just seems so easy. And, of course, they're going to go in, and everything feels good about your body. <laughs> like Not a duck in water. <laughs> <laughs> Except the duck's out of water now, so it's it's not so much like the duck anymore. <laughs> We're taking a quick break. We'll be back <laughs> on the Disc Golf Network in just a few. Hello Leopard 3 is stable. It wanna go straight all day long. That's why I love it. It feels good in my hand. It's just very comfortable to grip. Just throw, it's gonna fly straight for you. And I love the plastic. It is beautiful. Look at this color. When you have a pretty dish like this, you just want a birdie, right? I would recommend the Envy to every single person that plays this golf. This is such a good throwing putter. If you don't have an Envy in your bag, I don't know what you're doing. Envy is one of the most pure, straight flying putters. Comes out clean, can handle power, it can handle touch. It's just very versatile. It holds any line that you're really putting it on. It's so good. So good, it's so good. Hello, we're Kenna. We're a Dutch growing company. We love plants and we want to tell you some cool things about them. Just like humans, plants can communicate. They can sense when another plant is close. Plants look out for each other too. They warn neighbors about nearby threats by secreting substances. And studies have shown that plants love a good tune. We love and understand plants. Let our passion excite you too. You are looking at Natalie Ryan on the tee of 17. Zero birdies on this hole so far. Can she be the first? I like the line. Oh. Need to climb that hill just a little bit more than it did. But not a bad drive. Yeah, the hole is 345 feet, so it's not the distance that's been the issue. Katrina Allen, this one is... Way wide. Wow. Now live with Kona. Be Kona's second shot. He's going up the middle there. She a threw low, it well. A low skip, but you know, that's not what she wanted, I don't think. She's yeah quite far away from the basket. That was going to be a tough get to get all the way there. Yeah. There, she just didn't have the angle. Mm -hmm. Agreed.
level 9 is 427 feet, so it, it sounds like on paper it should be just a routine 3, but the fairway is kind of narrow. There's OB on the left, there's OB on the right, and there's a smattering of trees over on the left. Mm -hmm. So you really want to push it as far to the OB right as you dare to get yourself in a good position to approach the basket. You are looking at Jessica Weiss currently. Well, she looks like she's as far to the right as she can get. <laughs> Hopefully she was inbounds. Oh. She went just long outside the circle of the basket. That's going to be a... Yeah, that's, that's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. And look at all that hard packed dirt around it. If you don't hit something solidly, you're just going to skip away. Oh, you were looking at Missy Gannon down there. Yeah, now there's a well-placed shot. She oh, even yeah. landed on some grass to have some nice footing. And nice upshot there from Missy. Oh, she is right on the bucket. Well done. Katrina Allen next up with the second shots. Yeah, that was looking short. It did. So that highs are too much and that could just be familiarity with the discs mm -hmm. because uh, you know we're we're used to cat being able to put shots like that right under the basket an upshot disc is probably the disc cat uses the least if, if you think about it you know <laughs> well she uses <laughs> them off the tee well yeah, I guess so there you go yeah. Yeah, the hardest thing when you're, you've changed your bag is you get into these positions that you haven't practiced mm -hmm. a whole bunch of times. And then you're kind of like, do I do this disc or that disc? Like a tweener so distance it's type like of deal. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. <laughs> and it, it feels like that for a while after you change your bag out. So I can empathize with players who've gone to a new sponsor just trying to get back That's to do what they used to be able to do routinely. Kona Panis just lays, lays up there. I wanted a little more on that one. Yeah, it's a little bit short, but she'll be fine. Your leader, Natalie Ryan. Can she pile on with another birdie that on 17? a little awkward. Oh, there's OB over there, but it settles nicely. Well, she hit high, so it's she's feeling good. It was an aggressive go. Yeah. A clean airspace to the basket, too. And here is a live There's look the at the par putt. Okay. It's in. <laughs> it's in. Doesn't matter how it got there. Thought about it for a second, but thankfully stays in. She's got one hole left to go. Natalie Ryan sitting at eight down with a two-stroke lead right now. This is Jessica Weiss. Jessica Beautiful. Weiss. Beautiful. What a hit right there. That was awesome. Yeah, she has suffered from tendonitis problems in the mm. past that have really affected her oh. putting. And her putting is just looking great there. Yeah. So I'm hoping she's figured out just that right combination of strengthening your muscle and giving up. Missy and Gannon putting for par. And it's interesting. You might think that Missy looks nervous every time she putts because she, she takes this big breath and then she gets her shoulders down, her head kind of goes down. She looks like she's very nervous, but in fact, that's just her routine. Mm -hmm. It's just her way of calming and centering herself. And it works too, one of the best putters in the game. Absolutely, very, very steady putting game. Oh, cat. And there we go. She was just trying to just push it in and it, she just gave it too much arm. She yeah. needed to give it a little bit of wrist, a little bit of spin. And that's the thing she's just struggling huh. with. She, to give it a little bit of wrist snap without too much wrist snap. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that, uh, that upshot getting her there, costing her a stroke. So let's have a look again at, at what happened with that putt. So she went really low and she was just trying to put she was trying to use her arm swing to swing it right in there but it didn't have enough spin yeah you could see so it. it it hit the chains and instead of grabbing like it, it should do high right it just glanced off because it had just no spin on it at all 
And so she's either got to get um, a more of a line drive mm -hmm. with those shots, or she's just got to put a little bit of spin on it to give it the grab when it hits the chains like that. And she's going to be disappointed because her putting has been so good. That's been great. It started off amazing. Hit that 45-foot death putt on one. Oh, gosh. That was, that was ill-advised. <laughs> it was. Absolutely. I would have laid that up. But I'm not a world champion disc golfer like Katrina Allen. <laughs> well, when you're sometimes you just line up the putt and you know what's going in. Yeah. So you just don't think about it. Turn off the brain and just let the body do. There you go. Natalie Ryan on the tee of 18. Oh, she's running out of holes to get birdies on. <laughs> Three-stroke oh. lead right now. And one last chance to make it a fantastic round. Oh, that looked like it crashed in the right spot to my eyes. She's looking pretty happy about it. Mm -hmm. If you get just left of those big, massive trees, you'll end up with some kind of putt. You should be hit those trees right of the pin, you get left with nothing. Evelina. Over on hole eight. Really nice shot from Evelina. Yeah. And for reference, the, the hot round on this course last year was from this woman, Paige Pierce. They threw down a 10. Natalie Ryan, a chance to get to nine. And Paige, a chance to get to 10? Oh, that's 11, good too. You know? <laughs> yeah. Boom. Great looking shot, especially the height. When you're starting down low like that, it can be really hard to get the mm -hmm. correct height because you have to release high. Kristen with a nice pull as well. You're a little left, but should be fine there. Mm -hmm. Yep, that looks like to be well in the safe zone. Yep. And Hannah. going for that destroyer again. I think that's where you want it. Really well controlled. Wow. And we are looking at Katrina Allen. Over on hole 10. We are through nine holes. Any big takeaway so far, Elaine? Oh, gosh. It looks like it could be anyone's game still. I so we were expecting that feature card to perhaps dominate, although we, yeah. we knew that Katrina Allen was also a really strong player. But what are we seeing? We're seeing Natalie Ryan. We're seeing you know a lot of names come up there. So it looks like, again, can't say this enough times, the depth of field in the FPO division. See, 60 women signed up? 60 women, oh, wow. which is fantastic. And of, of them, I mean, 10, maybe 20 of them could potentially yeah. put in podium finishes. I totally agree. It's going to be a, a really fun weekend to watch. I'm also looking forward to seeing um, how the Europeans are going to play. If they can get those nerves calmed down, get into their game. And this is going to be Natalie Ryan's second that she She went OB. Yeah. Oh, she must have skipped OB off that drive. Wow. Well, that would be her only her second mistake hole of the day. Yeah. Jessica Weiss. Onto this precarious green, a little peninsula surrounded by hazard. She's on it, but now you have that putt it's, to look forward to. It's a little to. bit far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, such, such a hard shot. See what Kristen does. Well, she's got a tougher angle. She can't really see where she wants to be. Is she skipping up the hill enough? A little bit. Although that, that should putt. Evelina. And that's how you approach. Yeah. Lots well, of well thrown disc from Evelina. 
And she had a great position on her drive. Paige Pierce now. Yeah, it's a little bit blind for Paige as well. She's got to just judge how far to go around. And she did so beautifully. Yeah, looks nice. And ahead on the next hole we go to watch Katrina Allen throw an approach shot onto this precarious green. Get over there. Ooh. Oh, what Fantastic. a shot. Gosh. Didn't see the disc, but you saw the puff of, <laughs> of dust yes. coming up. Perfectly placed by Kat. Henna, what a drive. Playing the ground, using the skip, using the fact that it's uphill to just drill it into the side. The old backstop play there. There are your scores. Natalie Ryan sitting in eight, but that's going to come down Ooh. to seven, and Kat Merch just yeah, popped she, up to she six. Jumped, as we were watching, she <laughs> yeah. jumped up. Yeah, she got a birdie there on hole 13. And strong performances by Jennifer Allen and Emily oh. Beach hanging in there. Go, yes. Emily. That's a great score from Jen. Putter must be working today because she's always throwing well. Kristen Tatar. Yep. Makes good. That was a very quiet hit. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> so that puts Kristen at three down on the round. Excuse me, I will put it at four down, I believe. Henna? That's a nice putt. Evelina makes good as well. And there's Paige. Yeah. And here is Natalie Ryan putting for bogey. The net did not go in. Oh, Ugh. the second mistake of the day. Isn't that a shame? Such an on incredible 18. round she had. And just to make unforced error like that on the last hole. But so still, minus six. And look at all that blue. That's a lot. Wow. Still tied for the lead. Uh, with Katrina Allen and Kat Merch. They're all at six down. Paige Pierce just one behind. And that should give Natalie a lot of confidence going into day two. You know, she did have the eight, which just was unfortunate. And, yeah. you know, just a little bit of sloppiness on the last hole. Maybe she was just trying a little bit too hard. She'll be reflecting on that, but just so much great stuff. 16 yeah. solid, solid and spectacular holes of play. In all aspects of her game too. Great putting, great driving. Did she have to approach ever? I don't think we saw it. <laughs> if she did. <laughs> Maybe on some par fours. Here is Evelina. We're on hole 10. Par four. And she has come up short of the bunker, which is great. That bunker is right around the basket. 380 feet. And it is uphill, so this that's a crush. So for Evelina to get as far as she did, that was a big throw. We'll see how close Paige Pierce can put it. Every foot matters so much for these upshots. It's 342 feet to the closest edge of that sand trap. You know, add a few more feet for the uphill. So most players, uh, now Paige had to lay up, I'm sh sure, <laughs> a little bit, <laughs> but most players can just kind of blast one out. Yeah. And then all the excitement comes from the second shot. Kristen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, no. That's what you can't do right there. That sand trap plays as a hazard, so she will putt it from where it is. So a chance to save par, but... Ooh. Not the game plan for Tatar. Henna on the box of 10. So that is a safer shot. She doesn't want any of that sand trap action. 
and she'll just play for her par. Uh, they are going to walk to those lies while we take a quick break on the Disc Golfer Network. This is Latitude 64. The smallest of grains handled with the greatest passion. Always trying to improve, always trying to be better. Out of curiosity, excitement, thrill. For the player and the sport. Because we want to make disc golf awesome for you. Back to the action in Vegas. And the players are, are walking up to their layups. Um, question is, do you really go for the putt or is it just too far and you simply have to lay it up? This looks like it's pretty far. I really wish you would throw that flatter. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's like you're, you're throwing it onto a, a hill. Yeah, you're introducing variables that don't need to be there. Yeah. Throw it flat. Henna. Let's see if she keeps this one flat. Did she leave it short? She did. That is in the hazard. Oh. Oh, no. Ugh. That's very unfortunate because it's it's so easy to go far. That it's not yep. too, too punishing to go far. Yeah. And Paige lays up nicely for her par. Or sorry, Birdie. And so Kristen needs to putt right where she is. Um, I imagine she will try and give the chains a really good run. She is capable of hitting a putt from this distance. So they go, which will have that comebacker in her future. Terry, what happened on that henna upshot there? Did we get a gust of wind, or did she just leave it short? Yeah, I think she just left it short. If you notice one thing about henna, when she throws her putts and her approaches, they're usually low, and this time it hurt her. Yeah, he makes points. We have yeah. seen that all day. Yeah, trying to rely on the ground to skip it up. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's yeah. the style of play she's used to in the courses in Finland, but obviously here you need the height but you don't want to go too far by either that, that is a really punishing green yeah. great putt there by Kristen she, it was. she did go a fair bit by but she doesn't even look like she was phased that's well within her wheelhouse henna for par as well <gasps> oh, oh that was just no, nasty a very centered putt. It was a little bit hard for hitting the that high, and you can see it hit the pole and just came right back because of the angle. A little bit of head headwind too. Yep. Helped head blow it out. Do that. It needed every bit of inch to get out of that basket because it looked like it was going to settle. Ugh. That was so discouraging for her. Man. So let's Weird. look again at that putt and what went wrong. Ugh. If you're going to fault it, it was too high. It, it was a little bit high. I mean, it had a little tiny bit of angle on it. It was right on the pole. But that's like a 98% they drop in, right? Yeah. I, I got to think, to your point, that the wind played a little bit of a role mm -hmm. in preventing that from catch. Yeah. That is very unfortunate. Yeah. We are going to swing over to Katrina Allen, par 3, hole 11. So we're looking at her second shot. And those are coots, not ducks, if you're looking on the pond right there. I don't, don't want to get ha hassled by the Audubon Society. 
pool 11 is 430 feet, so the women will be essentially looking to get a three on it. Mm -hmm. A live look at Cat putting for that par. That fence to your left is out of bounds. Great putt. Great a putt. So really the key feature on this hole is, you know, to control the approach shot so that it doesn't skip into that corral there. Jessica Weiss. It's a good par make there, which is the best score this hole has seen today. Zero birdies from the field. Well, yeah, I mean, it's you just sort of throw it out there. Nobody can quite get far enough. And then the approach shot, you know, it's pretty flat ground. Uh, the only thing that is really in the way is that OB corral. There's, there's a couple of scrubby mm -hmm. trees and things, but uh, all in all, a pretty routine hole for the women. They're sneaking out of there with some pars. Take your par and move on to hole 12. That's the play there. Let's see what our feature card has in store. Well, if Paige gets off a zinger. I mean, she could, that's her range. She's got 430. And you got to think <coughs> um, it's 430, but there's a lot of skippage potential. Oh, true. true. To you know, get your maximum distance, and you put in a 30, 40 foot putt. Oh, here, you go first. <laughs> Tell me what the wind's doing. Exactly. Evelina and her destroyer take the tee of 11. It's going to finish short left. I want her to throw a less stable disc. Yeah. She keeps throwing that destroyer, and, and you think mm. it's going fine, and then it, it goes Dumps. so far to the left, and she really is out of position there. Paige Pierce. Swung well wide. Well, it was a zinger, but a zinger in the wrong direction. Yeah. A serviceable drive, though. Should par from there, no problem. Tatar, up next. the wind kind of leading those discs over there perhaps yeah or it's a it could be a matter of staying away from the left because you can get caught behind some trees True. if you're too far to the left so going to the right there's really no danger and if you're not going to do a 430 foot hole you might as well give yourself a nice easy look there you go destroyer coming from henna yeah you can see how much anheuser she put on that destroyer and so she leaves herself sort of pin high, mm -hmm. and you can see a very nice open look at it. There is your feature card making their way down the fairway of hole 11. I think we need a new tee on this one. Yeah, I I think a shorter tee would definitely. I like make the pin. I like where the pin is. You know, it's it's a dynamic spot, mm -hmm. a lot of action. And we have Natalie Ryan greenside with Grant Zillner of the PDGA. Uh, it feels pretty great, honestly. I had a couple of hiccups coming through the back of the, well, the end of the front nine and then the last hole. But other than that, I played very clean. <laughs> Uh, let's talk about that. Um, the eight uh, in the middle of your round, um, it was uh, uh, kind of a, a hiccup on an otherwise uh, great performance. How did you bounce back from that? Um, I bounced back off right. The next hole is not really like super reachable, so I had to kind of build momentum on the next or the what two holes after, which uh, I think I almost I think I almost aced something like that, um, and then that kind of propelled me back forward on the same path that I was uh, on before. Uh, you're right at the top of the of the leaderboard here. Um, what are you going to do the next couple of days to uh, manage the nerves and, and continue to push? Um, it, I think it'll be a little easier when the cameras are there the entire time. Um, it's first first round of the year, you know. Uh, it's hard for the, the jitters to go away when you know tons of sudden, suddenly tons of people are running up to your card and should be easier when they're there the uh, the entire round. 
Excellent. Nat Natalie, congratulations on a great round. Good luck the rest of the weekend. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. Fun to hear from Natalie. It was. I, I got I got a laugh at Grant. Let, let's start with your eight. Let's yeah. not talk about all the birdies you got. Let's start with the eight. <laughs> Thanks, Grant. <laughs> but good. So it's an interesting point she makes. Like, you know, she was doing a round, you know, just her and her group, and all of a sudden all these camera guys yeah. <laughs> yeah, come right. around, all these people. It's like, ah! And it it really changes the dynamic of the group when there's a camera. Camera it, jitters, they're a thing. It's no, it's not jitter. It just it's different. Like all of a sudden, it's different. Um, women who are chatting with each other very comfortably. Uh -huh. The cameras come, and somehow, it you just it doesn't feel appropriate to be just chatting. That's funny. It, it's and it's not that anyone's nervous. I mean, it can be women who've been around the camera, you know years years but it just it feels different huh. to tar with an approach that should work well let's see if natalie will have cameras around her all tomorrow to I will, yeah. um, be consistent throughout the round yeah. she certainly put herself in great position to yeah. be on the lead card and if not i can't imagine her falling much beyond the second card she's got to be at least on the chase card right now Paige Pierce. A soft go at it. Yeah. I should work for a par. Evelina. She's got the one tree to work around. I guess that, that went far enough. It looked like quite an angle that she released it at. Yeah. Just counting on that ground play, but it lo looks like it worked. Well, yeah. I mean, the ground's going to sort of absorb it. It's mm -hmm. got a good chance of skidding rather than digging in. Over to 12 and Katrina Allen. And we talked about hole, how hole 11 wasn't the most exciting hole. I feel like mm -hmm. hole 12 is similarly not the most exciting hole. That cart path is not out of bounds. That's a good drive from Cat. That, that's a zinger. Wow. Uh, and what you need to do is just deal with some random trees on the other side of the cart path. Yep. Canada geese, they're everywhere. They are. Kristen making good. And just some uh, routine tap-ins for the three. Yep. And while they walk to the next, we're going to take a quick break on the Disc Golf Network. Catch you all in just a few. Central on tour, one of the most versatile distance drivers in Innova's lineup. The new Halo plastic is probably the prettiest plastic that, that Innova has in their, in their lineup. It makes for a, a really cool disc to bag. Very confident in throwing the destroyer and keeping it in, in bounds at far ranges. Disc golf on a winter morning. There's nothing like it. It's just me. The sound of snow under my feet and open fairways. A perfect drive. Cash in that perfect.
You were looking at Katrina Allen. You saw the drive. This is the putt. A putt for Birdie. Yeah, it's a straddle putt. She's comfortable with them at this distance. Headwind lift. Yeah, it's hard to see with the camera angle, but it, it looked like the loft didn't didn't work. And here are Katrina's notables brought to you by Paragon. Look at that circle two. Zero OBs too. Circle one's good, but circle two is the same as circle one. Who does that? <laughs> Katrina. That's funny. Top ten in everything. Gosh. I think we saw the one putt she missed. I think we did, yeah. Really, really solid play. She's got to be feeling fantastic. Looking Her fairway hits season. just went up. Did they? <laughs> yeah. I love when the stats change. <laughs> Live updates thanks to our friends at UDisc. That's fantastic. You are looking Information at, at your fingertips. It's so cool. Evelina. Fay Destroyer, per the huge. Boom. Gosh, she snaps it so hard, she Elaine. She really does. It is impressive. Wow. Evelina. Very nice. She'll be staring at that basket. Yes, she will. Nothing in between. Paige Pierce on the box next. It was going right for the basket. It was going right for it. Oh, just robbed. Ah, she's probably going to have for her. Evelina was probably right. Yep. Yep. Oh. Yep. I mean, those trees are random. You can't aim yeah. at that distance. I mean, it's almost 400 feet away from, from where the tee was. Tatar, she finds a way through the trees and nice. to a putt. That's uh, Katrina's putt from just a couple minutes ago. And this hole is 405 feet. Wow. Henna on the tee. Hannah launches one, hoping for it not to hit a tree. She wow. threw past the basket. That's, <laughs> I'm not sure where she's generating that power. These it doesn't women are incredible. look like it's <laughs> anything out of the ordinary. Yeah. Those quick twitch muscles they have in perfect form. A absolutely, more than I do. Yeah, same here. <laughs> Think of this patented form from Evelina, just absolutely mashing on the disc. This thing came out in a hurry. This must be our Sunstein moment here. I think it the, is. The patented snap of Evelina the, Salonen. Gotta love it. And if you've got an idea that you think might be worthy of patenting, uh -huh. see our friends over at Sunstein because uh, they'll set you up and tell you what you need to do to patent. It's pretty complex, so you need to be able to spend money in your idea. But maybe you just have a trademark that you want to register. They'll help you there too. Nice. Sunsteinlaw.com. Exactly. Getting a look at a beautiful course. Not raining there. No, it's not. Looking nice in Vegas. Katrina Allen. She is on 13. Hazards galore surrounding this basket, and oh, she pops oh out of one. Oh my gosh. Oh. That was amazing. <laughs> I've I lost for words. <laughs> wow, that was, that was just fantastic. Uh, you know, sometimes when you're playing well, just everything goes your there way. You, go. you cannot do wrong. Hole 13, it's not a long hole, 249 feet. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of women will be throwing uh, an approach disc, but there are uh, sand traps surrounding the basket. There's a little bit of water actually behind the basket, I and the sand traps play as a hazard. I think the water's casual. I could be wrong, though. Hopefully, anyway. Paige Pierce, a birdie putt coming up. She said no, and then I, th I think she got some hope. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> yeah. 
It's always fun. Right on line, but that that's a long distance to straddle. It from. was. Three more birdie bids coming up. Paige Pierce had her turn. Now it's time for the Euros. Tatar up first. Kristen should really have a shoe sponsor because her shoes are just outstanding. <laughs> they are on Literally. point. Yeah. A very, very wide stance. This is not our normal stance. I'm trying to get away from the branches there. Oh, what? It, there was a lot of chain. I think it hit a little bit to the left, and when you hit to the left without much spin, it spins it out rather than in. Oh, my goodness. But it's just so close. It was in the cylinder for so long. Let's see what happened. Evelina, yeah. Same she's, spot. She's not feeling good about her putting. Mm -mm. That, was, that was very light. Henna for a stroke on the card. Hannah would love to put this in. She's had a little bit of an unsteady round so far. Oh, so close. That was a better bid. It was, yeah. It's a little bit too much nose down. It kind of dove at the end there. And you see the wind is in her face. Mm -hmm. She she didn't want to put it nose up because then it would have gone by. And you're trying to get it just dead flat, which is very, very hard to do. Especially when you're putting downhill. Yeah. You know? And we're going to get another look at this Tatar spit out. So let's look at exactly where it lands on the basket. Yeah, it's just over on that left side, and with that spin, it, it pulls it out. If she was on the other side of the pole, it would have pulled it in. Agreed. We're going to look at Cat Merch. We've been saying her name all day. Well, yeah, finally. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> She is tied for fourth right now, her second on hole 16. Oh! Taking a wide angle at it. Now, I'm not sure if she's happy with that or not. Looked like it hit right by the basket, and that's up on a mound, unfortunately. Hopefully that nestled somewhere close to the pin. And you can see Ellen with beside say, it. I yeah, was going Ellen's friend. got a new cart. She does. The boomer. So. Her throw-ins are incredible. From like 80 feet, <laughs> Ellen would be <laughs> <laughs> all day out there. You're going to look at that cat merch scorecard. What about that five? Should be yeah, just one off the pace. Two little blemishes on the card. She's got three more holes, but uh, even if she birdied them all, I'm not sure she's going to have top score, but she's looking to see if she can get on the lead card or worst second card. This is Evelina on hole 13. She has uh, found the hazard that Cat jumped out of. Yep, that's just so hard. It's a short hole. You've got to, got to get it very precise. Paige Pierce. Yeah, and that gully behind the basket is in bounds. Is it cool? So, it m might be better to be a little strong rather than a little weak. I think that's the play. But Paige, oh, oh my man. Goodness. It's, uh, it's that's in. very uncharacteristic. Is she trying to lay up? I kind of think so. Because that was not a, a very... It was uh, a layup or it was a shank. Yeah, it, it might have slipped out. Tatar. Hmm. That's Playing a layup. For a putt? That's a layup, but that's a good layup. It is. Henna will step up next. Just too much energy. And unfortunately joins her Finnish friend in that hazard. We're going to take another look at that Katrina Allen shot. The one that jumped out of the hazard. Yeah, that was pretty amazing, especially since it was going uphill to jump out of it. I think she got some points if this was horseshoes, too. Got a leaner here. And it just rolled, like... And it touched the pin. That yeah. was crazy. <laughs> you're good. You're good. I, 
I don't know if Paige knows whether she's in or out. Oh, yeah, huh? Oh, I'm safe, actually. Yeah. <laughs> now she does. <laughs> um, you want to look? I'm safe, actually, but you want to check? Okay. Me or you, Kristen? You think me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, Paige, inbounds and out. A birdie putt coming and up. She very properly asked her card mm. mates to confirm. Yep. And if you don't let your card mates confirm, you can get a stroke for Ooh. playing too. Yeah, yeah. If it was questionable, in question. and suddenly you're like you're throwing, it's uh -huh. like, where was the disc? Oh, it was in. Trust me. <laughs> oh, Paige Pierce tried to put enough on it, but she'll escape with a par. Tatar, lengthy birdie putt coming up. Just like two inches yeah. from being in the heart of the chain. Yep. Yeah. She's giving us the Vinny reaction right here. Yeah, she's <laughs> disc golf's a little bit hard today for Kristen to turn. Yeah. She's used to it being a little bit easier, so she's just staying with it. Henna for the par save from the hazard. And again, short on a great looking bid. And the card seems to be getting more tentative. They do, don't they? As the round progresses. Now, we, we still have more holes to go. Uh, but it's an interesting dynamic. It could be that they're watching the scores and knowing what they need to do. It could be that the group is watching Paige and watching her just inch away and away and away. Great par save from Evelina right there. Yes, it, a putt. it certainly was. You know, it looked confident. It was connected right in the middle of the chains. They let her kick off her putting the rest of the round. Paige Pierce makes a good par putt. And it can be tough when the group dynamic starts to get sort of somber. Uh -huh. That, um, <laughs> you know, you, you, being in this positive, oh, I'm going to get a birdie, uh, like... I love this hole. I'm going to attack it. You kind of get tentative. Katrina Allen on 14. Now, Katrina Allen's got a lot of great positive energy. Yeah, she does. And another look at Cat Merch. This is on 16. The other cat. Yeah, from cat to cat. Oh, tough putt. It is. Inclined to, like, lay up with a sidearm. Oh, that looked like it was... It hit the <laughs> pin, at least. Hopefully she's it stopped. She's like, where did it go? Did it stop? Is it? Oh, no. It must uh, be doing things. No. It did stop. Oh, she's just messing with us. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, cat. <laughs> she did make a bogey, unfortunately, though. And there is your board, Paige Pierce, Katrina Allen at the top. A story as old as disc golf, it feels like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But Natalie Ryan just feels one behind. And you know, Kristen is is keeping Look up at that. there. Yeah. Yeah. She's not playing as well as we're used to her playing, but she's certainly just quietly getting the job done. And Emily Beach, go Emily. She is done. She is in the clubhouse at minus four. Hey. And she'll see where that puts her. Possibly on the league card, possibly on the chase card. Well done. Ella Hansen out there with a three down, three fourteen. A lot of three downs, you know, with a few holes to go, and mm -hmm. some of them definitely opportunities for birdie. Yeah, Kristen, just the four birdies, but zero bogeys, you know, which has kind of kept her in it. And welcome back to the booth in Milwaukee. Ian Anderson sitting next to me, Lane King. Hope you guys are enjoying the show in Vegas. It's been a fun watch so far. A lot of great golf. It has been. It's been really fun to watch. Uh, um, the, just the distance that these women are getting. You know, to me, that's how one of the reasons disc golf is progressing is there's just more and more women who've just got that raw distance yep. and translating it into accurate shots. 
Trina Allen taking a sip while Jessica Weiss gets ready. It's important to hydrate even when it's cold conditions like that because your body does need the moisture and you can find yourself kind of flagging as it gets to the end of the round and feeling lower energy and that's most often due to dehydration you need something to eat pro tip from mm -hmm. especially in vegas it's dry out there oh it's so dry i would sometimes wake up at the hotel and like my eyes would be glued shut <laughs> because it was just so dry <laughs> so everyone drink up there's kona panis How's her day, Dave, been going so far? A little bit up and down, I believe. You can't see anything with those sunglasses. She's, yeah. She could be playing poker right now. Yeah, Kona, so it looks like she's sitting at plus two on the day. A little trouble in the middle of the round. Missy Gannon. Not having the day she was hoping for either, but does make a good putt there. Missy Gannon currently sitting at one under par. This is Jessica Weiss. Ooh, all right. That's Thanks in. Good. That's <laughs> in. It's totally in. And she maintains her three down pace. Solid round from Jess. Kona looking to stay at plus two with a par make here. Makes that good. was not a confident putt. She she didn't look confident laying up with it. You know, let's hope she can just take a deep breath. She's got a few more holes to go, yep. and they can put her a couple more down if she just gets herself in the right frame of mind. Paige Pierce has been in the right frame of mind. She's currently sitting at seven down. Your co-leader with Katrina Allen, one ahead of Natalie Ryan. And so at the beginning of the broadcast, I wondered whether Paige might be a little bit nervous with playing with the Europeans, um, especially the two from Finland. And it seems that, no, she's not nervous. Maybe the, the other <laughs> way around, if anything, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. And so there is that, you know, there is an unknown about how, especially the Finns would be playing, but... Um, seems yeah and henna started off playing so confidently and she seems to have slowed down mm -hmm. a little bit as she can't quite execute the way she wants to evelina i think may be starting to get a little bit more confidence i'm seeing her drives coming out a little flatter they which just is made that good putt as well yes yes indeed Paige pierce on 14 this is a tough get uphill 405 feet Only one so far, I believe, is Natalie Ryan. And Paige Pierce is going to have a chance. She's got a 40-footer, would you say? Something yeah, like that? I'm with you on that. Tatar. She can boom one out there. She needs to make sure she gets it up in the air. You've seen her with some low throws. She did. Yeah, it's good, just short. It's a very long hole. It is certainly a long hole. Especially when you add in the uphill. Make it Nally Ridesbury look even more impressive. That was a big crap. <laughs> Hannah. We've seen some boomers out of this lady, too. Okay, let's see if she can, yeah, she wound it. She gave it a good release. How much will it skip up there? A little past Kristen, not bad. She'll, she'll have a long birdie putt coming up, taking a break on the Disc Golf Network. It's the last break of the day. Catch everyone in just a few moments. We are dedicated to the game. Developing technology and providing data that helps you take the next step. Whether it's your next training session, league night, or major. Because we believe the best way to grow the sport is to push the sport. And the best way to do that is together. We're focused on the future to make that happen. 
are looking at Katrina Allen on the tee of 15. 15 is very birdieable. 269 feet. There is OB on the left <sighs> and right, but, but you know. When you're right, you're right, Elaine. <laughs> when you're right, you're right. <laughs> wow, what a shot for Kat. She's loving life. She sure is. Loving those new, new discs, too. Haven't seen her game fall, fall off at all. She adjusted in a hurry. Evelina. This is too long a look, really. Sounds like it's on the lock. It does. That's a very comfortable place to be. <laughs> if you're going to be putting for a three, why not just drop it in? There you go. There's Evelina's disc sitting under the basket. Don't hit your head. Tatar. Now it looks like she's just inside circle two, maybe. That's I saw a the long same. putt. That's and, a long oh, putt. that's a bit of a tree in the way. That's just a layup. Yep. Smart play from Kristen. She could have laid it up a bit closer. Agreed. <laughs> agreed. <laughs> I think she had to get over those pompous, and then it still had a little too yeah, much speed yeah, on it. Yeah, it was very, very line drive-ish, and uh, no grass to yeah. grab it. Henna. There, that's what you do. You kind of bounce it off the pompous grass. Yeah. And Paige Pierce, will we see our second birdie of the day on this hole? She's out in circle two, but she likes those looks. You, you, she always calls it. You don't even have to wait to see where the disc goes. Nope. Too high, she said, right out of her hand. She told us. Oh, what a great birdie that would have been. Nice mm -hmm. separator. And she will remain tied with Katrina Allen for the moment anyway. We know Katrina's got that birdie drop-in coming up. Tatar for par. That sounds so alliterative when you say it like that. <laughs> Tatar for par. Tatar for par. Paige Pierce putt with some more alliteration. <laughs> Evelina drops in. And here is Jessica Weiss putting. Ah. Just slightly nose down. If she had kept that flat, that would have been in. Yep, in. Jennifer Allen, we haven't seen her a while, but she is on hole 16 doing what she loves, and that is just that <laughs> disc. Russian a frisbee. She throws him so far. Katrina Allen dropping in the bird, taking sole possession of the lead. Eight down through 15. Eight down through 15, and our, our course record for women is 10 down. Got a shot. Mm -hmm. Someone with a lot of time on their hands has made this, this green really pretty. They really have, haven't they? Some little rock art there. Japanese rock garden style going on? Me? No, on the, on the, on the green. Oh, oh, <laughs> Jeff, you, okay. Japanese rock, rock gardens, you ever see those things? Ah, uh, yes, I have. With the sand, you know, all artfully done? Yeah, and in fact, a previous world champion, Becky Powell, uh -huh. and her husband have a landscaping business in Weatherford, Texas, and they they do Japanese gardens. Really? Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> too cool. Yeah, John Powell went to Japan and he's put in a lot of Japanese okay. gardens. That's so cool. Evelina going to the forehand on 14. We've seen a couple of forehands out of her, but not off the tee. Yeah. Looks like that one got caught up in those palms back there. She'll be out there in circle two, it looks like. Paige Pierce. She's thickened. I think 
it's the ponytail at the front for sure. Yeah. So this looks like she's going to opt for the Natalie Ryan line, that, that hyzer around the tree. Well, it's not like you have to just... Well, it's 405 feet, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a ways down there. The left of the cart path is out of bounds, so definitely want to stay away from the cart path. Uh, catch is a tree. Yep, just a little bit short. It's out there in circle two. Edge of circle two. Tatar, going to the forehand play. on the tee next. Oh, not nice a bad shot. drive there. Yeah. Nice shot. And uh, Terry, we're here, they, they kind of changed this hole up uh, quite a bit, actually. A any background on, on that and the changes they made? Yeah, guys, what we've seen throughout the last few years is this has been significantly backed up. And the hole used to play at least 100, maybe 150 feet longer, but they've shortened it, making it much more attackable. However, we saw both forehands come in, both hitting the palm trees and stopping in circle two. The very last drive there by Henna actually hit the palms but carried forward. She's just outside of the uh, bullseye, so she's looking at a 15-footer. I love the big wide hyzer by Paige because she's trying to take those trees out of play, but looks like it paid off best for Henna. So we'll see if anyone can make a long putt. Henna's looking at the close one for birdie. Nice. Is this a hole really 405 feet, Terry? No, 269. 206 feet? Is that what it yeah, was? Yeah, okay. 269. That makes Yeah, 405 sense. Sound, sounds closer to what we've seen in years past. So, yeah, shy gotcha. of 300 for sure. And Paige is just at circle two. All right. Check out her bid right now. What an effort there. It was. She had the height just a little bit inside. Very makeable part comebacker for Paige, though. Evelina hanging out in some palms. Tough little spot right there, wasn't it? Yeah, th not much you can do. Just lean it out, give it a g good amount of spin. Kristen, is she going to go through the middle? No, nope, grab yep. to the side. Yep. Oh, wow. I didn't think she was going to try and put it in, yeah. but apparently <laughs> that's what you do. Yeah. You, you try and get it in. She nearly did so. Now, Henna we're here with a chance to grab a stroke on the card. Henna currently sitting at even on the round. We have seen her not be attacking her putts. She attacked there that it was. one. Good for her. Yeah. Good birdie. Getting her under par on the round. <clears throat> Just seven off the pace of Katrina Allen. Paige Pierce trying to stay just one back of cat. Good par putt from Pierce. You're doing the alliteration again. I know. I have a habit of it. <laughs> Evelina makes good, as does Kristen. We are getting a look at Hokum over on 16. Again, you can see Ooh. it. Wow, look at that. 
beautifully done. That is a precision <laughs> upshot. She had a great reaction. Wow, what a drive from Jen. Oh, no. No, she no. She just let that get away from her. Yep. Ah, just she, she couldn't decide if she was going to do a jump putt or a... A throw? Yeah, exactly. Ugh. Oh, no. So, you know, minus four, minus three is still a great score. It is. You're in the mix firmly. Your leader, Katrina Allen. She is on the tee of 16. Pretty soft par four, and especially when you're Katrina Allen. 533 feet. Cat's going to bite off 400 right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first drive is... You know, there's a lot of space to land it, so you can really just let it loose. Mm -hmm. It's over 400 feet before any of the hazards and obstacles start to get into play. We will be looking for the women to have a precision up shot on 16 as there is an OB green to the right and short of the pin. Jessica Weiss opting for the forehand. Getting some nice turn on that flight. Oh. Yeah, it's nice to land on the, the fairway. The good stuff, yeah. It's just a good footing. You don't have to worry about um, slipping. Missy Gannon takes the tee of 16. Just short of the luscious green pasture, the oasis in the desert. <laughs> Kona Panis, up next. Oh yeah. Big throw. That was. Kona could bomb. She threw one at over 500 at the DD Open last year. Oh gosh. It was incredible. Katrina Allen, she is chasing down the 10 10 discs hot round of the day. She's got it right now. If the worst you can do is a bogey in the middle of your round with all that blue. Wow. She's making a statement there. She's saying, hey, I'm the world champion. So many good gets in that on that scorecard. She is certainly playing playing like the reigning, isn't she? I think the story here is her putting is very strong and confident. Mm -hmm. And there she is. She is watching Jessica Weiss get ready to throw. So Jessica will need to err on the side of throwing far and or left on the second shot unless she just lays it up. Looks a little soft. Yeah, she's laying it up. Ooh, is oh, that on the green? No. That's on the green. That's isn't on it? the green. Terry, can you tell if that one's on the green? Is that OB or did she get into the fringe at least? It looks like she's actually on the green, guys. Oh, that's unfortunate. Unforced error there from Jess. Katrina. Better, but not great, I would call that. If you've got the power, um, and let's just see, the distance is 533. Yeah, so these women will want to, if they want to get bold and get near the basket, you want to throw it over that golf green with a hyzer and let it just skip, skip, skip on the golf green yes. up to the basket. Don't throw it flat. Just throw it with a little bit of hyzer. Gannon up next. And Missy did that play, and it skipped in, and it looks like it's a bit short of the basket, but hard to tell how far away she is. Jennifer Allen. And that 
results going to be within circle one. How about that? So That's she's a good drive. looking for a birdie on hole 17. She is in this thing. So that is Luke Lorentzen from Norway. Nice looking spin from her. And Ella Hansen up next. Might be a little high. We'll see if it gets there. Guessing that one came up short. In circle two is the word. And we are getting a drone look at Jessica Weiss, I believe. Yeah. So that upshot came up just short. You can see it there in front of her, still standing on the green. So she's throwing four right now, trying to salvage the five. Oh no, that got away. Yes, it certainly did. I was actually puzzling to myself why she was throwing it sidearm uh, rather than backhand, because backhand you could just aim it to land just tiny bit past the green I mean honestly with a putter right and it would just go into the side of the hill by the basket and most likely lay there and yeah, the forehand's kind of fading down the hill yeah she is more comfortable with the forehand though yep that is her her dominant side if she had one you're looking at Kona who is also very comfortable with the forehand true Not having the best day out there, but not terrible. They're just two over right now. Laying up for the putt. We're going to swing back over to feature card action in Hannah Bloom Bloomroos. So that's turning over nicely. That's a a very good solid throw. Yeah. I haven't seen too many throws farther than that. Mm -hmm. Evelina. You think it's the, her overstable destroyer she's throwing? It looks like it, yeah. <laughs> Following her Finnish friend. And that's going hard left. Oh! Nice little mound stop there. <laughs> Kept it from sliding down. Katrina wants no part of that. Did that kick up? Hopefully not. I think that's okay. Yeah. It it did sit. We're getting word. Paige Pierce on the tee. Straight and far. <laughs> so good. Tatar. Looks like another straight and far. Yeah. Oh, maybe a bit to the. Hmm. To Might the not right. be the worst angle into the green. I'm trying to figure out where that is. It's <laughs> kind of a weird angle. Like right there. Yeah. That that could work. And Jen Allen for birdie. Oh, just short. It was looking so good on the flight. But, you know, throwing uphill to a basket that high, you have to throw it a lot higher and harder than you think. Mm -hmm. What a great round from her. Yeah, very clean card. Uh, putt's looking good every time we've checked in as well. You know, they're honest bids. They're not, you know. I remember watching this tournament last year. She was really having some putting struggles, and it was, it was hard to watch. But I'm really glad to see she's in a great space here. Live look from the drone cam of our feature card making their way down 16's fairway. The sands of Nevada. <laughs> this is actually a shot from the movie Dune. I, I could just see some camels <laughs> walking through there. <laughs> she does need a shoe sponsor, though. Those shoes are... <laughs> Very standout-ish, in a, in a very good way. Yeah. Love it. Uh, 
Evelina. Will she be up first with the approaches? Well, looks like maybe. She might be considering a sidearm. Uh, yeah, I saw her throw that out there. Oh, wow. This is an interesting look she's got here. Not the easiest. Yeah, it drifted well off to the left. She's standing on a mound. So a sidearm stance is good because it gets your feet really steady. Wow. That was a great shot. Just fantastic. And a shot you know she's never practiced, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I think it might have clipped a tree a little bit, but it was coming in at a, a really strong hyzer angle. So yeah. really well done. Yeah, i got to be happy with that. The, the putt's going to be a teeny bit scary, though. It is. It is. Tatar doing some bush nailing from the opposite side of the fairway. Got a lot of backstop to work with here. This angle isn't the worst. No, it's not. And she's pushed out closer to the right side of the fairway, kind of out of bounds. And, and you can see the basket there, plain as anything. Using the sidearm, and Ooh. she's slithered down the hill a little bit. It's... And shows you how hard that shot from Evelina was to put it on this little mound from out here. No, it just cleanly yeah. landed, didn't it? Just snuck it right in. And just landed hard into the sand, which absorbed all the impact. And Paige Pierce, can she take advantage of that great drive with an upshot here? Yeah, no. Will she skip it off the green is the question, uh -huh. which she could do. Elaine, why aren't they listening to you? I don't know. <laughs> I should be Paige's caddy. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun because Paige was my caddy like way back when no for the women's nationals when it was in Jacksonville, really? North Carolina. And Paige was just an up and comer. And I actually just beat her out to get into the final four. And very, very classy move she offered no to way. caddy for me. Wow. So that was. My, my first real introduction to Paige, and I thought, wow, this is a, this woman's going to go far because, Ooh. you know, she she could have been kind of like, oh, that Elaine, she yeah, yeah. beat me by one stroke. But uh -huh. instead, she wanted to watch and learn and That's awesome. absorb it, and boy, has she ever. Love that story, Elaine. That's great. Henna with a great approach, not to be overlooked. That was a beaut. We are going over to Katrina Allen on 17. This is a tough, tough get. Yep, it was inside. I mean, that kept her in bounds. So, not it, what she wanted, but no, it's it just snagged that tree dead on. There was no, no getting through. You are looking at Paige Pierce lining up a putt. And it's the kind of putt that you either want to hit something very solidly or you want to lay up. And we saw Cat lay up from a very similar position oh, yeah. just a few minutes ago. It was, wasn't it? And she's checking the wind. She doesn't like to lay up, not from that short. It's too close for her to not run this. She looks like she's going to hit metal. Yeah. She did eventually. <laughs> <laughs> After the tree. Uh, it was in if she snuck it under the tree. But not to be. That will be a par for Pierce on 16. Or 14, excuse me. Tatar? There are the scores. She's got a bit of a low overhang, but she does have kind of a bullet putt. Yeah, he called it. That was cool. <laughs> nice. It, it wasn't a very long putt, but those putts are tough. And see, she had grass and stuff in her way. Mm -hmm. 
So well done not to let that distract her. And Evelina, can she take advantage of that fantastic approach? Yes, she can. And Henna, even closer. Yeah, a wonderful layup from Henna. But Paige Pierce loses a stroke to the card on this one. There is her par tap in. And swinging over to Katrina Allen on 17. This is her second. Oh, that is awkward. And it's, that's short. It's makeable, but short, yeah. Ella Hansen on 18. Good smooth release. But unfortunately, that found the out of bounds. I saw that red flag flying over there. Here is Katrina Allen putting for par. Oh, dances in the chains, but. Well, she, she hit it solidly, which mm -hmm. is what you want to do. That would have been nice. So, Cat. Yeah, Kat's going to cart a bogey here, drop her down to seven down and tie with Paige Pierce. They'll both be one ahead of Natalie and two ahead of Kristen. Whole host of women just behind them, though. Yeah, this course does not seem to be a tremendous score separator. Yeah. You know, there's a, a few people out with a couple strokes lead, but then a bunch of bunched up. You are looking at Sarah Hokum putting for birdie on 18. Oh, that puts Sarah Hokum at four down. That's a great that's, pot. That's a sneaky good round from Sarah. Love to see that. As your teammate, right? She is indeed my teammate, <laughs> and I've been very impressed with her just slight change of a putting style yeah. to put a little bit more flat, and it's really paying dividends for her. Henna on the tee of 17. This has some life. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just nestles in bounds. <laughs> what a drive from That's Hannah. a fantastic drive. This is a 345 foot hole. She's incredible. Um, you're, you're teeing at a little bit of uh, elevation, but then the basket's also at a little bit of elevation. Evelina. Wants to hang out on the green with her. Absolutely. Those are really, Looking really for tough. Par, our Norwegian friend. Ooh, oh, good spin. That last chain was so good. <laughs> Tatar on 17. Looks a little inside. Oh, oh never mind. No, no, you were oh, oh. totally wrong about totally that. Totally could not have been <laughs> more wrong. Oh, my goodness. Well, if everyone's going to get closer, then yeah. there's not a whole lot of room for Paige to get closer. Better put it in. Looks like Paige ripping on a Zeus. And she's put that out wide, but it's got a lot of comeback. Well, stop, stop, stop. Wow. The highest rated card ever is driving <laughs> like the highest rated card ever on hole 17, Elaine. <laughs> what do you know? Yeah. Jen Allen is on 18. That's a bogey putt, but it's still a good make. Good. That's, she's putting well. That's a good-looking putt. Yeah. Jessica Weiss on the tee of 18. Taking the forehand line. Does it have enough? Enough to be inbounds. Green flags. Now, 18 is only 301 feet, so huh. the, the women should be able to get over it. There is a 
big pond there, those reeds that you see surround a pond. So it's just a matter of making sure the disc is high enough. This is Missy Gannon on 18. It's like Missy went Zeus too. Ooh. Inbounds. Panis. So she has swung it around, trying to bring the water out of play oh. and bring the basket into play. Yes, yeah, she did. Great finish, Kona. Katrina Allen looking for a great finish of her own, sitting at seven down, tied for the lead. She just saw the line from Kona. That looks even more um, severe. Heiser, yeah, that is a little bit short. A very makeable putt, though especially the way she's been putting today. Henna, birdie make. Well done. Are we going to see a star frame on 17 from our feature card? Shh. Wow. Don't jinx I know. It. I'm, I'm not there. I'm not there. Oh, does it count if yeah, you're like yeah. a million miles yeah, away? It's, yeah, it's fine. We got, we got mile buffer. Paige Pierce. For solo possession of the lead. There it she is. She wants it. She does. Uh. E Evelina for the third birdie in a row. Yes. She's just getting going. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she found her found her groove. It looks like. And Kristen, the absolute dropper. Get it. Wow. So impressive from that. That's an amazing performance. And here, I, I mentioned it, the, the highest ranked card ever, or rated card ever, excuse me. Here are their rankings, according to UDISC. Also and, pretty high. And I mean, UDISC rankings, that's one way to rank it. There's all kinds of other rankings, yeah. but there's no doubt that these four are in anyone's you know, top list of FPO women today. Absolutely. Trivia, who's, who's fourth? Katrina Allen. It's got to be Kat, right? Is it, is it Haley King? Jen Allen? Haley King. Oh, there mm -hmm. you go. Good. Haley had a, a great year last year, yes, too. Yes, she did. Just such a depth of women in the FPO field. Talent galore. You just never know who's going to win. Uh-huh. A couple years ago, just Paige and Cat would take turns winning every tournament. And now it's, you just don't even know who it's going to be. And now there's this woman, Missy Gannon. She's got to keep the putt low, but then keep it nose up so it reaches. Oh, my goodness. That was really good. Sure was. It was so close to being in. Off the top of the tray, was it? Yes, it was. It was oh, so it was man. just hung a little bit to the right. Hanging out with her caddy and husband, Tom. And these willows have been, I'm assuming, trimmed up just so to let discs <laughs> under, but to uh, provide a bit of an obstacle for a putt. Cat for a share of the lead. Count it. Oh, that looked so comfortable, didn't it? It did. Really, just no hesitation. Stepped up, saw it. And you can it. see she, she used a little bit of wrist yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. And a good finish for Cat. That's her eight down on the round. Panis to finish out. There we go. And you know, the two bogeys she had, uh, speaking of cat, mm -hmm. you know, one missed putt and one tree snag. Oh, yeah. And she was clean other than that. Throw on a lot of great shots, a lot of great putts. And it's a well-earned smile, cat. And she's she's got her phone in her hand. She knows where <laughs> she's at. <laughs> And when, when the reigning world champion gets better in the off season, man, <laughs> <laughs> feel bad for everybody else. Evelina and Henna. Henna sitting. She's kind of fought her way back here with a, a turkey all of a sudden, actually. Well, that will do it, won't yeah, it? Will. You know, yeah. you get three birdies in a row. Yeah, she's sitting at three down now. 
Evelyn at five. Tatar sitting at six. Two off of Paige and Cat. Great battle brewing. Four days out here in Vegas. A oh, lot, yeah. lot of golf coming our way. And you know, the courses are so different. They are. They, they really are. So um, this course had a lot of birdie opportunities, obviously, and as well as opportunities to get yourself in a little trouble if you were not precise in your up shots. Hannah on 18. Did that fight through? Oh, it did no, not. No, it did not. What? What happened there? Terry, you got a sense for how that ended up out of bounds? That the spotter earlier told me there's very few people or groups that have been all inbound. But the last group was a good one. Interesting. Wow. That's an inbounds drive from Evelina. Yeah, that was plenty of power on that drive. And even though she got hung up in the tree, she was well past the water. Tatar. She's going wide. Take everything out of play. Terry, is she going to have a look for her or is she entirely obstructed? You know, I'm actually obstructed myself, so I'm not sure, but I'm guessing she will be as well. <laughs> she is inbound, but she'll be obstructed. Fair, fair enough, sir. Paige Pierce, step. She's got that Zeus again. And if she gets a birdie here, she will be in sole possession of first place. Well noted. Can she beat the bush? I don't think so. Did you see it at all? I didn't see it. Guys, Terry, you got an eye on that one? Gonna see yeah, I'm going to head over here and see if this is obstructed as well. And yes, there's nothing but trees between <laughs> both of these lies and the basket. So <laughs> they're going to have to get really creative. We're going to see an up and over shot for sure. Fair enough. Thanks, Terry. And huge shouts to all of our spotters out here in Vegas, doing a, all these volunteers on the course. These volunteers were out here before 7 o'clock in the morning. And freezing conditions, I'm sure. It, 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 literally, it was just about freezing yeah. um, to make sure that these players are having a fantastic experience. Yeah, it takes an army to put on a Disc Golf Pro Tour event. Thankful for every one of them. Here's your board. Vanessa Van Dyken popping into our top ten. Ooh, look at that. Minus three. She used to live in San Diego with me, but I think she moved. So Henna from the drop zone on 18. That's terrible. Oh, that was inbounds. I see the green oh, flag. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow. Yeah, she hyzered that too much. Yeah. I mean, lucky to be in bounds even. Wow. Well, I mean, she can still make the putt. You can totally redeem herself, you know. That opportunity is there. You, you, it's just so discouraging to have a lot of work on your very last yeah. hole. <laughs> Which You're just so close to being done. Coming off a turkey, too. She just said three birdies in a row. Evelina hanging out in circle two, possibly circle three. No, circle two lays up nicely. She'll be just chipping. Yeah. yeah. And Tatar and Terry was not lying to us. <laughs> there is nothing doing from over here. That was an honest attempt to put it, it in was, the basket. It? Yeah. <laughs> Very hard when you can't see anything, but um, Paige is going to have pretty much the same putt. Paige was calling for Kristen's to drop in. Did you hear? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see if Paige can do what she was asking for. That's too high. <laughs> it was. <laughs> 
Just drop straight down elevator style. We're going to have a henna putt coming up. This is to save bogey. hard to tell if the willows might be a little bit in her way. Yeah. It's hard to tell from this angle. Oh, very, very close shot to getting in. Cost her a stroke there. She's going to finish with a five and enter to hit one down on the round. As Tatar and Pierce par. Evelina with a par as well. And here is Hannah coming in to tap in her double. And she might have already just snuck that in right there. And that's it. That's 18 holes. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> it did seem like it went super fast, it didn't did. it? And... At the top, a tale as old as this golf timey lane. Cat and Paige battling it out. Yep. What a day. Let's check out some highlights from that action right now. It's it's coming soon, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait for them. Wait for those highlights. Yeah. <laughs> They're coming. Honest. And Seriously, highlights. folks, the, the highlights yeah, yeah. are coming. Co we, we there, promise. They go. there they go. All right. <laughs> Here's Katrina on one with this monster putt to start her day. That was crazy. Was that silly. was the craziest <laughs> decision to go for the putt yeah. and then to execute it. And Paige and, Pierce. Oh, that was a lovely shot, too. That was a good stepper on, too. What it takes to score well out here. Precise up shots. The approach shot that led to the eagle. Yep. Oh, that's right. And another great precise up shot. That was the one she was so happy about. <laughs> did a little dance afterwards. <laughs> and Katrina Allen over on 13, skipping in the hazard for just a moment. <laughs> that was definitely the craziest drive of the day. That's probably my favorite. That, that, that should be a Sunstein patent pending <laughs> kind of move. Definitely. And here they are on 17. The whole card putting on a show. Paige Pierce keeping. And, you know, the folks at home probably think that's a fairly easy hole oh after gosh. seeing those I four know. drives. And then Katrina somehow finding the exact spot to get the disc through. And there then following it up by that great putt. And you saw the shots. We are in the clubhouse with Katrina Allen right now. Our friends of the PDJ are going to ask her about that round. Six birdies in eight holes. It didn't take you very long to adjust, <laughs> did it? <laughs> no, but I uh, dressed warm and had a nice jacket to stay warm. <laughs> We saw several bullseyes from you today. Your touch game seemed to be on. Uh, what else was working for you, and was anything not working for you this afternoon? Um, just a couple really silly um, tee shot errors that brought me my three bogeys. Just really unhappy with those tee shots. And then just maybe three putts I would love to have back. I mean, my putt felt great for most of the round. Started off with, a, I think, a 60-footer, so... <laughs> um, but. Yeah, nothing, nothing too bad. Nothing that we can't clean up for tomorrow. Now, you'll be on the lead card tomorrow. You won't play the infinite course again, but what can you take from today into tomorrow? Uh, you know, just like bogeys are really what will cost you out here, and those three tee shots were kind of tee shots where I was in between two discs and then kind of just made a quick decision and maybe didn't take that extra few seconds to reset and really make sure that I, you know, was really – committing and knew exactly what I was doing. So just maybe a few extra seconds on Innova tomorrow on the tee box whenever I'm a little unsure. So. Thanks, Kat. Best yeah. of luck this week.
Thank you. Good? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> cat's, cat's great. <laughs> <laughs> Fun to hear from her after her round. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we have the Paige Pierce interview as well as the OTB after show. We'll catch you there. I'm Garrett Gerthy. People know me as Double G. I've been making Double G craft jerky since I was 16 years old. And while Wakona and I are driving, don't have time to stop and eat. So I always have her grab me a small bag of Double G jerky. You got smash cracked pepper on Tuesday. You can Wednesday, you got mm -hmm. the garlic. Late in the round, you know, hole 14, you might need a little pick-me-up. Pull out some Double G jerky. Grab the big bag because you're going to have to share. You can find Double G craft jerky at DoubleGJerky.com. When you find yourself struggling on the green, one of the biggest things that can help you is having confidence in your putt. Distot is here to provide exactly that. This easy to use product gives you immediate feedback, letting you know, hey, that was like a super good putt. We should definitely do that again. So if you want to take that next step in your putting game, make sure you head over to dist.usa.com and use one of our amazing team members discount codes to not only support what they're doing, but support Distot overall. Oh yeah, Nate, that looks nice. Oh! Oh, that looks nice! <laughs> it's not nice, really, though, is it? Nice! And all day today. so spectacular today. Just the energy from you all is just amazing. I love you, Oregon! Welcome back to Las Vegas Challenge and the Disc Golf Pro Tour's coverage of the event. What a day out here, Elaine. It was a great day. I really enjoyed watching all the coverage there. Great to see uh, Evelina and Henna, a little bit of Luke yeah. as well. And of course, welcoming back Kristen and all our favorites from North America as well were in the action. And the scores aren't that separated, apart from the top couple. Yeah, just a couple strokes separating our leaders. Welcome to the back to the booth in Milwaukee. Ian Anderson sitting next to Elaine King. We have Paige Pierce on the ground with Terry Miller. Uh, we're going to throw it over to Terry here in just a second. And joining us now is our co-leader in Paige Pierce. Paige, you shot eight under. You picked up a lot of birdies on the front, a little cooler in the back. Anything change? Uh, throughout the round, no. Just playing so solid golf, steady and inbounds, and eight under par is pretty good. Of course, playing in the highest card we've ever seen in terms of ratings and rankings. Uh, what was the vibe? How were things feeling out there, especially to kick off the season? Yeah, it was a great card. I couldn't have, couldn't have asked for a better card. It was all smiles and, you know, good to see yous and, you know, cheering each other on, stuff like that. So we had a great time. Now, of course, plenty of wins over the last two days of practice, but yeah. today almost dead calm. Talk about how you prepared for the conditions as they ultimately changed when we came out here today. Um, it's kind of just making sure you get as many days in as possible so you see different, you know, miles an hour on the wind. And my first day of practice was really calm, actually. Uh, so I was happy to have that round under my belt. But, you know, at this level of, of you know, skill, you kind of know what to do in certain winds. It's just a matter of figuring out the exact angles that your disc can handle in certain winds. And just before I caught up with you, I let you know that you are the co-leader along with Katrina Allen at eight under, and then Kristen Tatar and Natalie Ryan both shooting six under. So that's what we'll see in the lead card. What's the plan for tomorrow's round? Um, keep it in bounds, Innova. You know, it's I'm throwing a max distance driver, 15 out of the 18 holes. So just throw it far, but make sure I'm not trying too hard to get that distance. You know, take 30 feet shorter just to keep it in bounds sometimes. If the wind's up, you know, lower my expectations even more and maybe try to shoot like 60 feet shorter and just again keep it in bounds. Great round out there today. Good luck the rest of the week. Thank you very much. Fun to, fun to hear from Paige after her round. It's kind of how we expected her to be after one round <laughs> here in Vegas. Eight down. 
that's about par for Paige Pierce, it feels like. Absolutely. Well, I loved her words of wisdom about the different types oh, that of was wind. Cool. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought it was especially interesting that she liked the calm round uh -huh. so she could judge everything to that calm round sure. and know how to um, change her disc selection and her flights based on what she could do when it's not windy. Headwind, tailwind, mm -hmm. yeah. You get it all locked in ahead of time. That's kind of nice. All right. And she knows that it's going to get more windy. I yeah. mean, all the players are. Now, looking forward to tomorrow's round, it's on the long course. It is. It's on the end of a course, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just, I mean, there's a lot of... Um, out of bounds, yes. as Paige was saying, but there's also a lot of room to work with. So I feel like the stronger throwers may start to rise. I think to we'll maybe see Evelina and Hannah have some good days tomorrow, hopefully. I think so. Yeah, yeah. They can take advantage of the longer course, their long arms. Mm -hmm. There's also some, uh, some, some pin changes I noticed, yes, on the, on the course tomorrow. They moved a couple pins longer, a couple pins shorter. I noticed hole five they put to the right of the green this year. Interesting change. It's often been off to the left. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. What are you looking forward to most for tomorrow, Eileen? Oh, gosh. I'm looking forward to seeing how these women who are sitting now four under and three under. Okay. And there's a lot of them. It goes down to about like the top 14. Mm -hmm. I want to see how some of those women can either um, accelerate and challenge for the top two cards. Yeah. Or... You know, maybe not are up to challenge <laughs> of, of the long course in the wind. Let's see if we can make this a game of, you know, more than just Paige and Cat. Exactly. See if they can get in that mix. Yeah, that'd be really exciting to see. I bl we have our OTB shot of the day coming your way. Let's check it out. Yeah. That is that most certainly the shot of the day. <laughs> well thrown, plus a little bit of luck. You know, you, you'll take it when you get it, right? Absolutely. Well, for something to spin out of the sand trap like that is pretty unusual. Yeah, absolutely. Usually is. when it hits close to the top, it just it just ends up all in right. there. That is all we got for today for Ian Anderson and Elaine King. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, tune in later today for the MPO action. If not, we'll catch you guys tomorrow for the FPO side. Day two okay. should be fun. Thanks, guys. That's it.